scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Men who are furnished by the fires of the Spirit, men of understanding and power, men of light, We give you praise. Tonight I pray that the bread of the Spirit be broken. We contend for the hallowed bread of the Spirit. Show us deep things, O oh God. Cause our eyes to be open. Reveal your glory in strange dimensions. Open us up, O oh God. Let the seals be broken. Let the scroll be open. And let our eyes see. Show us what the Father saw. We contend for the ancient part. We refuse to be deceived. Let the light of God take us to the holy hill of the one who called us. And may we become mighty men. May we become mighty men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Please greet one another and be seated. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you. It was a great time of worship. Please be seated. Hallelujah. There is an end to this pursuit. We are not chasing after shadows. We are not um, we are not just trying to do the things that we are doing because we are alive and we have to continue the traditions of religion. I need you to know that God is so grateful when he finds a people who are interested in in him not just what he can give not the prosperity not marriage men who are addicted to the values of the kingdom who love him above and beyond what this life can give hallelujah we are the hope of this world you must believe this don't ever think you are little for in the days to come even the the smallest spark of light will be of benefit to men gross darkness will come upon this earth it's already happening but the bible says upon you it says you will arise and you will shine not only will you shine the light you will become Hallelujah. 
the secret of spiritual growth is progressive revelation there is nothing else that can make a man grow the bible says that when god made man in the garden of eden the life that they had was supposed to be sustained by the continuous eating of the trees of the garden they were not eating it for hunger they were eating it because it had the capacity it was called the tree of life it had the, the capacity to give life and that tree is the accurate revelation of the word of God so as we receive the word of God there is an unveiling of the reality of this life this Zoe life that we talk about hallelujah praise the Lord I'm excited because many of you may not realize that every great revival started with a movement that was concealed people did not know that this was how far god would go until the fire became so much that no devil could stop and he began to move from city to city hallelujah there's an army rising There's an army There's an army Rising up To break every chain Break every chain Break every chain Break every chain Can you just sing that part? There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. We are this mighty army. There's an army rising up. There's an army that is rising up. There's an army We're rising up. Break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet began to speak. Malachi, the prophet, started speaking and he said, There will be a sign that will characterize the coming of Jesus. He says, Shortly before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come again. Hallelujah. Did you know? That the Bible never tells us anything about Elijah's birth, origin. It just tells us this, this wicked system, this she goddess called Jezebel, who was married to the king. Jezebel was a witch. She was not a wife. That's why she reappears in Revelation again. In the book of Revelation, Jezebel reemerges again. Hallelujah. The personality Jezebel was an adumbration of a system. Hallelujah. And the Bible says during her time, the prophets of God suffered so much. The prophets of Baal were reigning and they locked up and killed the prophets of God. Suddenly, a strange man without origin just emerged. The Bible says, and Elijah the Tishbite from where he came we don't know we don't know who where he was taught the things that he knew the bible says he was a representative of his spirit elijah represented the sword of god and the bible says when he showed up he showed up for one assignment to conquer that she goddess and afterwards he left who is this strange man because we see him reimagine again jezebel is still in revelation elijah is still in revelation where did he come from did he just appear and Elijah the Tishbite? Where was he trained? Who taught him that the eye of witchcraft could not find? And Elijah the Tishbite. 
rose up as a cry the prophets of god were suffering only about 400 of them were being kept in disguise by a man called obediah no prophet could lift up his head and prophesy the counsel of god and the bible says in response to their cry one great prophet elijah the tishbite a single man who terrorized the system of jezebel and brought her to her knees and the bible says before the day of the lord elijah will come back again but he will not come back as a person he will come back as an apostolic generation are you getting my point and is in the similitude of what was adumbrated in the old testament nobody understood nobody knew about the training he was he was a strange manifestation the bible says elijah the tishbite and this is the making of elijah's the spirit the authentic spirit of prophecy that will arise this is how his kingdom will come hallelujah and Elijah the Tishbite suddenly showed up and he began to cause havoc to this godless system I need you to know that you are a representative of this spirit of Elijah this authentic apostolic and prophetic spirit and the first assignment of Elijah is to destroy the altars are you getting my point the first assignment of elijah is not to call the names and phone numbers of people the first assignment of elijah is to come in with a dimension of god that has not been seen that will bring the powers that be to their knees this is why i raised this song to break every chain a reemergence of the elijah spirit hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Tonight I have I've just been praying for the teachings that we're going to be bringing that not only will we get puffed up with rema and knowledge hallelujah but that these teachings will sustain an ability to cause radical transformation in our lives. We have said this is a season of light and brothers and sisters let me tell you there is a level of light that you carry you become a threat to the kingdom of darkness this is what we are training we are training you to become a light a light you will be so bright the powers of darkness cannot ignore our job is to expose the works of darkness and to bring people to accurate spiritual understanding hallelujah thank you jesus first timothy 4 verse 1 let's rush he won't stop till we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop till we look just like him God is birthing something strange in these days. God is revealing something new in our midst. He won't stop, He won't stop until we look just like Him. He won't stop, He won't stop. first timothy 4 verse 1 now the spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons stop the bible says in the latter time there are certain people who for some reason will depart from the faith 
and will begin to give heed to what? Deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Very interesting. It didn't say doctrines that were taught by demons. Doctrines that were manufactured from the pit of hell and brought taught accurately by demons. Verse 2. Speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with hot iron. Verse 3. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from food which God has created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. The last verse, verse 4. For every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it's received with thanksgiving. Let's just stop there. Hallelujah. We're examining three things tonight. Tonight, we're going to be studying the scripture. Hallelujah. Everybody say, I receive light. When, when our eyes are open, we will be able to mature and comprehend the things of the spirit deeper. Let me tell you something. Listen. Do you know what scares demons and principalities and powers? It's not the statue of a man or woman. Are you getting my point? It's not your English. It's not your degree. Hallelujah. But the degree of light. The degree of light. When you see the spiritual structure of a believer, you can know his level in the spirit by the degree of light. Are you following me now? So, at the Mount of Transfiguration, Jesus revealed to us how his spirit man was. Are you getting me? It was light so bright that the people could not comprehend it. And every time we come before his presence, by revelation, we keep contending to attain unto that dimension of light. And the degree to which we conform to that light is the degree to which we rise to maturity and that's a product of revelation the difference between revelation and information is that revelation transforms information just gives you awareness if it is revelation it must change you it was designed to change you if you truly understand it hallelujah praise the lord the Bible says in the latter days, verse 1 again, please, that men will give room to deceiving spirits. Who are these spirits? Where did they come from? What is their ministry? Please pay attention, brothers and sisters. We are in a day and age that if you lack spiritual intelligence, you will die. Are you following me now? We need it as a matter of urgency. In every generation, there is always a contention of light and darkness. There are people who just go around as social beings. But there are certain people who understand spiritual things and are anointed to communicate the counsel of God to make sure that the banner of the kingdom is lifted throughout that generation. And we happen to be that generation. So it's important for everybody to pay attention. There's a lot of error going on in the body of Christ. Listen, please. Hallelujah. And the error that is going on in the body of Christ is so deep, it calls for immediate response. Hallelujah. If we do not respond to the tragedy that is happening in the body of Christ, and we allow this Jezebel to strangle away the prophets of God. If Elijah's do not arise, a time will come there will be no prophets who will speak the counsel of God. Are you following me now? There's a lot going on in the body of Christ, the continent of Africa, and especially our dear country, Nigeria. Nigeria is the firstborn of Africa. We are the model to the the continent of Africa in terms of spirituality. Hallelujah. And it's important 
that we preserve the things of the spirit there are three errors in the body of Christ that we trust God to address and correct tonight hallelujah it's called apostasy you know what apostasy is apostasy is a departure from the accurate truth of God's word a departure I preached a message I think it was last year or year before last the apostate church you can get it and listen a departure from not listen listen please I, I don't mean the departure from a doctrine I mean a departure from the known patterns of God everything about the building of God's kingdom is not left for the discretion of man are you following me now there is a pattern God in his nature will not allow man to build his kingdom his own way it has always been the character of God to create a pattern for man to access him so apostasy is when by the activity of wicked spirits men begin to deviate from the accurate pattern of God and the Bible says this will happen in the latter times that some will depart from the faith what faith christianity no 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 god never called us christians what is the faith the pattern there is a pattern that our fathers followed they knew something that made them walk with god they knew something that made the, the kingdom of darkness quake before them and there is a gradual deviation please listen to me the church in Nigeria is deviating fast. And there's got to be an, an intervention of Elijah. Because the few prophets of God who are left in the country are facing a lot. Jezebel is, is prospering on our pulpits, in our churches, across different places. And the prophets of God, the true prophetic and apostolic voices are being quieted until Elijah rises and that there be an open contention between light and darkness to return the body of Christ back to pattern. Otherwise, we are going to lose it and we'll miss it, not just as a continent, not just as a nation, but as a people. Hallelujah. Say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 13, verse 25. Matthew 13. Jesus began to explain to us the tragedy that will befall the church. Matthew 13. Let's start from verse 23. Or 24. Let's, let's make it 24. And another parable he put forth to them saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed. That man, listen, that man is God and his purposes and counsel. So how did it start? It started with good seed. Is that true? He sowed good seed. He created a pattern. But something happened. 25. The first four words. One, two, go. But while men. This is how the spirit of the Antichrist began to enter the church. He began to cause men to sleep. The Bible says that a time came when the eyes of Eli started getting dim. And remember the Bible says the eye is the light of the body. That means if your eyes closed there is no more light no more illumination there's no more access to divine things and the bible says that the eye of eli started getting very dim and that continued until it got to a point where men slept hallelujah while men slept when they began to intercourse with babylon 
when they began to respond to the promptings of this antichrist system when they began to do ministry by doctrines and patterns and methods that are not consistent with the way of god the bible says they started giving heed to deceiving spirits are you following me please and they started embracing the doctrines of demons and men slept and then the enemy came and did what so tears this is what is happening to the nigerian church there is a mixing of that which is authentic with that which is counterfeit and all of them are being mixed in our churches in our parishes in our assemblies and right now there is so much confusion it will take the accurate eye of the eagle that is brought forth by the spirit of elijah to divide between bones and marrow and show the church that no matter how this looks this is not of god hallelujah because the bible tells us something verse 26 it says but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop then the tears also did what appear that means when they sowed it it was there as a tendency but it had not yet manifested are you getting my point now a lot of people started ministry hearing the voice of god but they did not stay in the spirit for the holy ghost to keep walking walking on them and pruning out anything that does not become like christ eventually as the ministry started expanding as the membership started expanding they noticed a strange thing happening in the assemblies that there were also tears that were growing verse 27 it says so the servants of the owner came and said sir did you not sow good seed in other words who gave these pastors this message where did this rema come from where did this doctrine these revelations that we have built ministries we have held conventions and meetings with teachings that have no bearing with the patterns of the kingdom the bible says they ask a question did you not sow good seed what happened on the way how then does it have tears 28 this is what made a lot of men of god think that what they are doing is right because in the wisdom of god and for the sake of we the elect of god he said no the, see he said the enemy has done this and the servant said to him do you want us to go and gather them that means should we start pruning he said ah in the midst of these tears there are genuine people they are not strong enough to stand the heat of separation so let them grow verse 28 29 now he says but he said no less while you gather up the tears you will also hurt the wheat are you getting my point now and so god allowed many churches and many ministries to grow in spite of their wrong doctrines money was still coming are you getting my point membership was still coming and because of that a lot of people thought it was an endorsement that they were doing the right things but right now the spirit of elijah is suddenly showing up because the 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 wheat has become matured enough for the separation to begin to take place and the bible says 30 now let both grow together so no problem let the church grow even with the error no problem i will have a way by my wisdom to manage it but a day will come the separation will happen are you getting my point now there are so many people that have stood upon our pulpits and said a lot of things that have god has no hand in it at all there are many conventions in this country that god has no business with what is going on are you getting me they have organized god out of church programs they have gone for ministers conferences and imbibed doctrines of demons by men and women who have no altar at all hallelujah and the bible says let them both grow so they came back applied these things and it seemed to be producing results but right now it has gotten to a point where it's destroying the remnant of the house of god and except the spirit of elijah arises and addresses it the casualty will be too much it says until the harvest 
and at the time of the harvest i will say unto the reapers this is a strategy first gather together what this is why we are beginning to attack these things because the season of the harvest is here. The Bible says, you guys are farmers speaking to the nation of Israel. He said, there is a way you can look at the atmosphere and you will know that the harvest is near. And bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. So, it started with good seed. The man of God started as a genuinely anointed person. The ministry started as an authentic ministry but eventually while men began to sleep the bible says a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the eyes and it says poverty is not just lack deprivation of all sorts whether spiritual material and otherwise will come upon you suddenly like an arm bandit so these men began to sleep hallelujah and it was in that sleep you see this is listen how many of you have read the story of samson and delilah samson was a type of the church delilah was a wicked spirit are you getting my point now notice that samson was called to be a judge over israel and the bible says savior shall arise everything in the bible is prophetic it's an adumbration of something an adumbration means a foreshadow are you getting me a prophetic preplay of something that would happen samson was a man who was strong and he terrorized the philistines and then the bible notice every time men who symbolize the government of god appeared it was women that threw them down not women they were physical entities but this woman you know why woman because women have the capacity to give birth and reproduce their kind again this is why the bible calls this babylon this harlot in revelation 17 it says she's a woman that sits upon a beast that has seven horns seven heads and ten horns are you learning something tonight a terrible tragedy happening in the body of christ and listen when delilah came to samson she studied his weakness are you getting my point she carefully studied it she did not come with a sword i want to show you the mystery of men sleeping and the bible said she came and she donated her lap free of charge for him correct the first time you see the nature of the glory of god is that the glory of god does not depart suddenly when the glory of God in the vision that was shown Ezekiel, when it was leaving the temple, it left slowly. But adventure, the people would realize and repent. Hallelujah. The first time it happened, notice what is a woman looking for, trying to know the source of a man's strength. She didn't say, marry me. She didn't say, sleep with me. She didn't say, give me money. Are you following me now? she kept saying samson tell me the mystery behind your strength all she was concerned about was his anointing because it was with that anointing he would conquer the spirit of the antichrist are you getting me she wanted to kill the source of his strength and she found out that there was a relationship between his eyes his hair and his strength that was why when she captured him the first thing that happened was his hair the second thing that happened was his eyes I need you to know that all these women you see in the bible they were not normal they were envoys of demonic entities because they did certain things that did not make sense for instance why will herodias ask her daughter for dancing well she said make sure you tell the king that i want the head of john the baptist what do you do with head are you getting my point now there are many things that happen in bible that if you don't read with the spirit of revelation this is the error that many people have carried they have just read it theologically and they have bought for doctrines that are not accurate but the spirit of elijah comes dividing the word of god accurately hallelujah all through scripture 
we'll do a quick drive if it's possible as we as we continue and let me show you that disguising through people and stories has been the same battle the battle of light and darkness are you getting my point now for instance the bible tells us that before the coming of the lord again there will be a repetition of the days of noah did you read that in your bible what happened in the days of noah because you see when satan fell when satan fell there are so many things in my head now Let, let's just continue wherever we stop do you know what satan told the angels that made them to comply don't you think satan would have told them something that was really captivating for them to leave their estate and to come down to partner with him are you getting my point now because of satan's access to the presence of god he had knowledge of mysteries and the bible tells us that this man called satan or then the son of the morning rebelled he had a he had a political ambition all this ambition didn't start from the politicians there is a spirit and he he made this manifesto clear in isaiah 8 uh, in, in 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 um uh what now isaiah 14 now i will do this i want to arise above the stars of god i want to be like the most high that was his manifesto but he deceived all of these people and when he was casted down he was casted together with a lot of other angels hallelujah and then when adam came i told you again that the garden of eden is not in the earth realm are you getting me that's why they cannot find it the garden of eden is still intact you go to the book of revelation you see the garden of eden still there with the tree of life nobody has taken anything that garden was withdrawn are you getting me it was a supernatural sphere the reason is look at the things that covered the garden a cherub and a flaming sword can a cherub and a flaming sword just cover something that is just three-dimensional hallelujah and man was driven out of that garden but there was a prophecy and this it was that prophecy that started this great battle are you getting me the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent and satan knows that every time jesus speaks he already has a strategy are you getting me please follow this when one of the errors that i want to correct i hope we'll be able to establish it is how many of you have heard of that thing called familiar spirits have you heard that statement i will show you the origin of the activity of what we call familiar spirits familiar spirits are not just out to monitor your life they are out to monitor the strategy of the spirit for every season help us lord help us lord help us lord where do we start from okay are you getting my story now and then when adam and eve when adam knew his wife and she gave birth to cain listen please satan thought that cain was going to be the person that god will use because they he knew that god would need a man are you getting me so satan entered cain are you getting my point now see i'm talking of the activity please let's go to first timothy 4 verse 1 again the, i want to show you the ministry of these deceiving spirits can you see where it started from lucifer deceived the angels are you getting my point now and they came down when man fell deceived eve satan always changes the patterns of god because every time god when god designed family please listen and 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 ladies you have to listen this is a very powerful message when god designed family i hope you know that god made man the head of that family is that true that means any correspondence through god according to his structure should go to the man notice how satan changed it satan went to the woman 
are you getting me and everywhere you see the manifestation of his spirit the woman there that figure tries to usurp it on the man jezebel are you seeing now herodias and all of these kinds of people this is what the bible calls the devices of the enemy stratomai the greek word his methodology it may have changed and metamorphosed through seasons but the pattern is the same that means when you sustain the eye of prophecy you can detect him at once are you learning something please so cain is born and satan makes a bargain with cain and cain begins to manifest another spirit and then the bible says how that abel shows up and satan suspecting that god may use abel began to move cain to kill abel are you seeing why cain why will cain kill his brother see it's time for you to begin to study the word not just to get sermons but for spiritual knowledge ask questions why will cain just kill the, his brother what for are you getting my point now when cain killed his brother in a passage of time the bible says cain started building a city the bible never told us that cain was an architect what made him to start lusting after building a city it was the spirit of the antichrist are you seeing because god wanted to build a city and name it after his son so the spirit of the antichrist through cain built a city and named it after enoch his son and that was where atrocity started from are you getting my point now and then it got to the time of noah god suffered long with them when it got to the time of noah listen to me listen to me noah was a very strange man he was not just an old bald headed man noah walked with god are you getting me noah had a manuscript that he used to build the ark the ark was not just built carelessly of gopher wood and so on and so forth it was a prophetic message are you getting my point now noah had secrets that he knew that made him the head of the spiritual activity of that generation he talked with god he communicated with god he understood the mystery of the flood and that was the reason why listen please listen listen when they came out shem ham and japheth there were eight people again satan started looking for somebody else to enter are you getting my point so satan entered ham are you getting my point and the bible says he saw his father's nakedness he did not just see his father's nakedness it's a coded word he saw into the secret of what noah was supposed to preserve why will a man curse his son for just seeing his nakedness and say you will be a servant of servants is that cost not too much just for seeing a man's nakedness what of children that take care of their parents in the hospital and have to bath them and do other things it was beyond just seeing a physical nakedness it was opening something spiritual that he was not prepared for he was it was every time men shifted from god's patterns they suffered this was why he caused Cain. i mean harm and the cause that was given to him if you read your bible very well was that he was going to serve his brothers is that true now satan found expression through him go to genesis 11 don't you, i mean you don't need to open it but go to genesis 11 what happened suddenly another wizard who was the son of Cush, who was from the lineage of ham are you seeing now a man called nimrod nimrod strange man just appeared from nowhere a man who commanded such power he was a lord are you getting my point now how did nimrod gain so much influence and the bible says nimrod was a hunter we never saw one animal that nimrod hunted what was he hunting i will show you in the book of revelation that he was hunting for souls because satan suddenly realized that destroying men is not the way so he says let's adopt them and use them rather than killing them are you are you getting my mystery tonight bible says it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom there are things you understand that the devil will run away from you because he knows that light 
has brought everything that is darkness to bear are you getting my point now the problem with we preachers is that we just cut a lot of stories and tell people things that when they join the puzzles together it doesn't make sense listen listen i think i was talking to um the the, the music director and, and the worship team chairman they came over to my place and i told them that i've been criticized for a lot of things one of it is this faith thing i believe in faith but i've said this thing again and again years ago that faith doesn't have to be on something you don't understand are you getting my point the true concept of faith is not just built on shadows that cannot be understood i said it last week no pilot sits on a plane and says passengers i trust god that will arrive safely i've never learned how to fly this plane but you guys just sit back sit back and 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 and, and, and enjoy there's jehovah jireh there's jehovah sikenu there's our banner and all of that and then the people sit down and say hallelujah let's just be confessing we will arrive we will arrive plane corporate we are now at three thousand feet nobody does that are you getting my point now so faith is not a mystery it has been turned to look like anything in the kingdom you just understand just you don't understand just accept by faith have you had teachings like that god said it i may not understand it i don't care i want i don't want to understand it all i know is that satan is the bad guy jesus is the bad guy we are for jesus let's win him this is what americans are are shipping into nigeria and we are laughing and receiving it and holding massive conventions and misleading people whereas the bible says do not be unaware of the stratomai satan is not an idiot he has a, a strategy this guy stayed close to the presence of god are you learning something tonight so you see it nimrod kush he said go to let us build a city build a city again the same city that Cain tried to build and then the judgment of Noah cancelled everything now he says let us build a city and let us make a name for ourselves listen when you study Bible history please listen I want to show you the origin of occultism and witchcraft are you following me now don't say it does not concern you the word is making you mature believers are you getting my point now do you know the origin of this thing we call occultism and witchcraft nimrod kush according to bible history are you was the son of kush who married a woman called samiramai are you getting me and because listen please this is very very important samiramai was a witch these were people that were possessed they were incarnates of hell are you getting my point envoys that wanted to continue the agenda of god samira might killed kush her husband are you getting me and satan came and interpolated this thing satan came and made nimrod to believe that in this new move and in this kingdom he was going to make him lord he was going to be great and the price for that is that he will aberrate the normal progression of of human beings and then nimrod married his mother are you getting my point now so nimrod married are you seeing how satan was twatting the the do i call it the genetic code of human beings nimrod married his mother can you imagine now the son i don't know what what they are going to call the son now huh his mother is still his grandmother as ugly as it is listen this was the mystery of what began to happen to nimrod nimrod was a hunter of souls his job was to exert so much influence that he would bring people to himself because in revelation when he began to tell us about this mystery babylon and all the commodities she does business with it called the souls of men is that true is that true there's no time you see this time thing i wish like i feel like busy seeing this watch praise god 
you just sing praise and worship and it's 10 o'clock <laughs> praise god kai this time is limited bear with us honestly these are not the kinds of things that you don't just come and share a message and it's boiling in my spirit because i want us to get it praise the lord are you understanding my story all through scripture when you trace you will see that this spirit looks for women in every generation that will represent its operation and look for men that will compromise are you getting me that was where witchcraft and so on and so forth started and then all these things called divination and necromancers all of these things happened when Saul was king there's no time but I hope you read your Bible very well you remember that remember when Saul was king Saul dealt with diviners and necromancers is that true he frustrated them so much according to scripture there was only one woman that was left one sorcerer one necromancer and the Bible says a time came when Saul slept and he deviated right it didn't use that exact word but i'm just using it when saul deviated from the things of god he went to go and consult her is it in your bible and when she met him he he, he concealed himself and she said ah don't disturb me saul is saul has made life bad for us no business in this city again and he said no problem i vow i will not tell saul and he said whose spirit should i invoke I'm going to show you how men of God operate what you call the prophetic that they invoke the spirit of the dead correct it's happening in many churches somebody dies and they invoke the spirit of that dead person I want to show you how they use necromancy and when they do that they invoke that and the Bible says she invoked in her vision she was seeing an old man coming and Saul and Saul told her I said who do you do you see him tell me about his appearance and Saul from and Samuel now seemingly from the vision told that the man that is standing with you is Saul and she turned she said ah, ah are you not Saul he said ah sorry it's true I'm Saul but call me the spirit of Samuel you think that was Samuel he looked like Samuel talks like Samuel where did these spirits come from I want to show you see it didn't start with Africa so don't let westernization tell you these things are unnecessary they have been there in scripture and if we don't gain knowledge of this truth we will die like men man. hallelujah help us Lord diviners and different people let me tell you something that happened see most of these entities that you call how many of you have heard of demons being disembodied spirits have you heard that word disembodied spirits what does that mean that means that there are spirits that do not have a body to find expression is that true that means they are consistently under frustration jesus himself taught us that when that spirit leaves a man it becomes restless because they need material medium to communicate there is a law in the earth realm that if you do not have a body you cannot function here are you getting my point let me tell you how this demon started i hope we have time can i talk to you see the bible says listen demons are not the uh, they are not the only wicked entities in the satanic kingdom demons are just a class of wicked spirits there are others for instance principalities they are not demons are you getting me i have come to the end of myself take over jehovah i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself listen i hope you believe what i'm telling you listen how many of you have seen certain people maybe those who do a lot of occultic things when they leave their body 
they make sure they close the room so that nobody comes to push their body you know why because they must return the same way they left if you shift their body they are not dead but the spirits cannot return to the body again are you understanding what i'm saying there are many spiritual entities like that in the spirit realm please listen to me i want to tell you some things that will bless you we said this is a year of light this is solid meat light that keeps you in command dominion will happen naturally you don't claim it light brings you into it are you getting my point we are we are demystifying this deity called satan once and for all so that you will know that the church will truly be a victorious church listen satan led these demon spirits are you getting i mean angels now are you getting my point now this was what because it is within the character of angels to translate themselves is that true that means they can change state there are different kinds of angels maybe when we deal with angels we talk there is a northern army there are different there are messenger angels there are cherubs there are seraphs there are different kinds of angels now satan led a campaign and told these guys together with I've, I've, i said it the last time apollyon leviathan have you heard of all these spirits they were real spirits together satan didn't just do alone it was supposed to be that he would spearhead the rebellion and if it worked it would be chop by chop so all the demons that helped him are you getting my point now <laughs> when you read the book of psalms and see the things that the psalmist began to speak you will see that the spirit of revelation was upon him hallelujah are you getting blessed can we continue all right please make sure you are listening this is not let me tell you something with revelation if you get too used to it the devil can use it and kill you are you getting my point he won't kill you just by oppressing you he will make you so puffed up revelation that should deliver you is not delivering you but anybody who wants to talk to you you will begin to break these scriptures and say let me give you a rundown of how everything started and then it's not help this is what is happening so we must open up ourselves and please listen i'm serious and contend for change this is not to equip you to now run to your fellowship or your church and say for the next four months i have a message and this is what people do and then start running and say ah i must do this i must do this there are angels there's apollyon have you heard of him and they say wow from whence cometh this kind we have not seen it in this fashion the goal of revelation is not entertainment brothers and sisters is to equip you with light that dispels every darkness hallelujah now listen these angels translated themselves are you getting my point in the days of noah and they started having intercourse with women physical women that means you know that the child they will give birth to will not be pure human that's the origin of giants are you seeing that that's why the children that they had six fingers six to superhuman abilities can i surprise you that breed is still in the earth today this is what scientists saw that they call x-men what is x former what was the revelation behind their producing these films you were just watching and eating popcorn in cinema and nodding whereas this is a mystery they know a war is coming all of these scientific films keep telling you a war is coming and that battle is between mankind and another race this was the whole subject of lord of the rings and they had to consult other kingdoms and bring their kings together and it was a human uh, one little boy called frodo that carried the ring a symbol of authority all the other kingdoms backed him up these things are spiritual messages these scientists through through zodiac and and astrology and all kinds of divination they can peep into spiritual things it's not that they know the future are you getting me how do i put it now help me look at me how many of you know which country is ahead of nigeria time wise what 
what is uk how can you say uk us let's let's just assume please listen we, we don't have time let's assume australia how many of you know that when australia is saying 18th we are still in 17th so that ability to peep ahead that's what happens in the realm of the spirit because of the regulation of times and seasons are you getting my point it, this is what is adumbrated in geography that it is possible for one region to begin to access certain things before the other one it happens in the spirit too and this is the principle of divination Help us, oh God. Take me to the place, the place you are, that secret place. Take us, Lord. That's where I want to be. Take me to the place. The place you are the secret place. The secret place. That's where I wanna be. That's where I wanna be. Let's rush. Error number one. I touched it in the realities of heaven and hell, but I just feel like touching it again because the message didn't strike the chord the way I want. So I want to touch on the issue again. Messages from hell, divine realms. That's number one error that needs to be listen to me i don't know how many women have shaved their hair sold their cover shoes and did a lot of things because listen this is a very serious message right now certain people claim they went to heaven or went to hell listen i explain all these planes to you and you will see sense in what i'm saying now and they brought the core message in the body of christ now is not the bible again is who came with what from where are you getting my point these are the deceiving spirits and the doctrines of demons remember the bible says if god did not cut the time even with the elect can be deceived what kind of great deception can make people to see a lie and take it as true are you getting my point it must be a great deception so what is it the bible says or the people story somebody just comes back oh i went to hell and then you print cds you print books now there are a few people who will trust their experiences very few as a matter of fact they were the initial people people like like um what's her name mary baxter and so on and so forth all these many things that they do now those people when they came back they even gave the cds free because of how much they wanted to be dissociated with this world huh but right now what we have is nonsense and there are many church pastors in an attempt to show piety and response to spiritual things this is the result of sleep they invite all these people these these people and they come back uh, they come to pulpit and cry ah i went to hell i saw your mother i thought your mother died she gave me a message it's her name not jane you say yes my mother's name is jane i saw jane i saw jane she was crying in hell and she could talk crying have you have you seen a house catching fire have you seen the people inside listen please this is not criticism please i'm just addressing something this is the spirit of elijah are you getting what i'm saying a lot of people came with revelations those of you inside outside if you are hearing me shout praise the lord listen these revelations are destroying churches right now destroying families are you getting my point people came ah you went to hell why did you go to hell your skirts didn't reach here why did you go to hell okay um this pastor you were supposed to drop five naira what where is the five naira that's where you are going somebody went to hell seemingly and brought back the list of the names of almost every man of god alive right now that they are sure candidates of hell 
This is somebody that got born again. He was not up to three weeks and he seemingly went to hell. I will show you the mystery of what is happening. I wish we have time tonight. I would have shown you something powerful. It's the strategy of the devil. The people are innocent. Are you getting my point? Don't be angry at the people. They do not even know that they themselves are under deception. Paul says, I was caught up to the third heaven. That means there are other heavens. There is the astral realm. There are a lot of other realms. There are galaxies. All of these galaxies and planets. I hope you know some of them have inhabitants. This is the mystery of aliens. This is the mystery of aliens. There is a lot of story we don't know in the earth. They just gave birth to you in the middle of history. It's what they taught you from social studies to what again? Social science. History, government. And then you read political science or whatever it is. And you believe you know the world. No, there is a lot more. There is a lot more. Hallelujah. There is a lot more. There is a lot in this earth realm that we have. There are portals in this realm. There are many people you see in the earth realm that are not pure human beings. They are moving like you. They talk. You've eaten with some of them in the restaurant. They are not pure breeds. These are agents of darkness preparing for the revival that is coming. I read an article as far back as 19... I have the documentary as a matter of fact about people who went underground. Is that true? They went underground. And they saw a place designed by aliens that can see 20,000 people. And there is an altar in the middle. When you stand in that altar and talk, they will hear you everywhere. No mic. Verified scientifically. Don't you know there is a world under the earth? Philippians chapter 2. That every knee is not just talking about hell alone. What have they not told us, brothers and sisters, that is responsible? I will show you how this applies. So that you will see how your family got into it. Your innocent father from the village was just moving around. Nothing missing, nothing broken. He entered into what he didn't understand. Look at what a lot of believers are suffering in today. And one of the error, one of the error that I wanted to talk about is the negligence of spiritual laws. Many of us have, listen, listen, and I don't say this to criticize. There is an exaggeration of what we call the grace message. I've said this thing again and again. Please don't be offended. I'm just telling you the truth in love. There is a jurisdiction to which when the grace message steps out, it will be misleading. There are people right now that they almost don't read the Old Testament. You open, they say, what are you doing with the law? I have a question. What is law? What really is law? What is the cause of the law that Christ redeemed us from? Is it Ten Commandments? Is it other mosaic laws? Or Ten Commandments plus them? Is it spiritual laws? A lot of people speak and say, ah, oh, all of this. Law is gone. There's nothing law nothing again but you believe in the law of sowing and reaping and you teach give and it will be given and a lot of people say even god cannot do anything so which part of the law has been abolished we'll talk about that in another teaching we have a lot of series this is a year of light we trust god to open our eyes not to go and start criticizing people but to be the light a reference the devil is in trouble this year there are things I will explain to you you will never be afraid of death again. There are things I will explain to you you will know that even this mystery thing called deliverance you will understand. Who are these people that follow people quietly to church and come and sit down? And later you say in the name of Jesus and all of these kinds of things. We will explain it. When you understand this, I'm telling you, you will just start laughing you won't even pray let me tell you there are two ways to bind the devil one is prayer the other is revelation 
when authentic light enters you you grow out of some things at once deliverance is going on right now it's just that many people their concept of deliverance is ah you fall down say, i want to go i want to no no it's not it, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do those things light is what drives away darkness permanently you see that's why if if i deliver those in for instance i lay hands on her and she rose 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 and stands up listen and there is no light do you know why certain deliverances are so easy it's not because the man is powerful the demons are mocking the man he has no spiritual intelligence they just stroll out and allow him to go and he feels wow at once as soon as the person goes out they use anger or something and enter back together with the seven that they have gathered this is why you find out that there are many churches and men of god struggling with deliverance again because the whole service from morning till night is deliverance there is a balance he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them but my only trouble is what people call word is not what god is calling word because their word is not healing their word is not delivering that means it's not the word look at me ella is a fair lady if i tell you ella is coming to see you expect a fair lady tying something in her head with with a ribbon or what is that thing you see that are you getting me if i suddenly decide to come am i ella if i tell you my name is ella this is how many people's revelation i'm sending the word it will do this right now it's not doing it and the bible says if it is the word some things should happen so if it's not happening it's not the word it may be scripture the word listen the word is not just this are you getting me because until the apostles came there was no manuscript but the people understood the word so what did they call their word what did they call their word of god he said ye are clean through the words that i've spoken to you that word can clean you that's what he's doing now So divine revelations let's just look at one scripture luke 16. let's settle this issue once and for all please can we look at just one scripture we may not be able to touch the honestly there are three issues i thought we'll be able to talk about okay we're there there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple royalty and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day 20 and there was a certain beggar named lazarus listen every time jesus mentioned name it was not a parable necessarily it was a real experience you understand in jesus's parables he described men by what they did not their names which was laid at his gate are you seeing the contrast now it says full of what source verse 21 and desiring to be fed with the crumbs so on and so forth 24 okay no 23 i saw something i'm looking for there ah we've gone far can we go to 22 let's start from there and it came to pass that who died that's lazarus right lazarus died and was carried by the angels to abraham's bosom that's another issue there hallelujah and the rich man also died and was buried so two of them died they've now left the earth let's see the drama that happened 23 and in hell so a definite place hell is that true he lifted up his eyes being in torment and seeth abraham afar off all right that's abraham's bosom and i'll tell you why and lazarus hey i had a revelation brothers and sisters that opened me up do you know that unlike the teachings we have been teaching that abraham could not give birth because he was impotent is not true abraham slept with hagar did she get pregnant what is the impotency about him this was simple logic 
I said, come on. Ah, is this not the Abraham we are saying it is the deadness of his body? And this, this guy slept with, with uh, Hagar. And Hagar was strategically positioned by Satan in that place. See, when I show you these things and as we explore, you will see, ah, may God help and redefine our Christianity. You will see that Jacob was not a thief. Jacob was replacing what happened between Isaac and Ishmael. You see that? That thing that looked like that's why it's not called God of Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. It's called God of Ab didn't, is God blind? Didn't he see Esau? It's called God of Abraham, Isaac. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. So, it was in Abraham's bosom. All right, 23. And he cried and said, this is the man now in hell. Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the, fin dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. Um, that flame is not just fire like you know. Because I hope you know their physical bodies are in the earth here. So what kind of fire will torture their spirit body? It's not just the kind of your fire here. Spirits can walk through this fire. Are you getting me? This is a strange kind of fire. It's a fire that causes thirst. When it destroys you, it not only are you going through pain, but it makes sure that there is thirst. It can absorb everything and cause you with the feeling of thirst. And it's very frustrating. Look at this guy. He didn't say let him send... Um, something to quench the fire he was asking for a drop of water and Abraham said son remember in your lifetime you received good things this guy received evil but now he's comforted and thou art tormented 26 now divine revelation please listen and beside this there is a gulf between us so that they cannot pass here and there and there we'll talk about this another time Hades Abraham's bosom and so on and so forth 27 then he said, listen, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou would send him back to the earth. Are you seeing now? Send him back to the earth to my father's house. So let's see. See, let's walk with what the Bible says. Is that true? Do you believe the word of God? You believe it's the final authority. And you believe it's a more sure word of prophecy. So let's examine the word of God. 28. For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into the place of torment so what was his request please come back to the earth with divine revelation abi go to my family and tell them ah i just came back from hell if they hear you their hearts will melt and they'll change i don't want them to come here 29 what happened abraham said they have moses and the prophets let them hear them in other words it is not god's original strategy to bring people back from the world of the dead to come and bring revelation to the inhabitants of the earth abraham was saying listen this is not a normal route of god's dealings with people to make them grow are you getting what i'm saying abraham said they have moses the law and the prophets they are they are preachers already they should listen to them verse 30 and he said nay father abraham but if one went on to them from the, from the dead, he said what? They will repent. Is that true? 31. And he said unto them, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Listen. So these teachings of people going and coming, say they went to the dead and they came back with messages and they saw this and that and that the bible tells us the living and the dead have no relationship is it in your bible is it in your bible that there is something that separates the living and the dead it is appointed unto man to die once and after that the judgment i believe in the resurrection are you getting what i'm saying but by divination people's spirits have been invoked and a lot of things have happened can i tell you 
many of these places these people went to were certain realms in the spirit they had never been there please get what i'm saying some of these beings they encountered were not jesus christ they encountered spirits if you see a spirit in the realm of the spirit you will still need spiritual intelligence to relate with them because satan can appear as an angel of light jesus said it when he sent the 70 when they return he said i've seen satan's next strategy the next strategy is not to be a demon again he has translated himself as an angel of light and he's now going to go to pulpits as angel of light he was revealing to them a strategy he wasn't just telling them that satan has just fallen like that mm -mm. hallelujah satan saw that jesus could give his authority to men and they could legislate on his behalf it gave satan an idea of the next strategy he said why not i translate myself and come as an angel of light wear suit and start gathering these people rather than killing them let me use them so jesus began to tell the disciples i'm praying for you immediately i've seen something that will happen satan has now changed his state to become an angel of light and he's moving around as elders in churches moving around as overseers moving around as different things and recruiting men who are entering deception and delusion without knowing but we are this army that god is granting us light alongside many other remnants across the surface of the earth and we are the ones who will break the hold of darkness in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me show you one more scripture these are the scriptures that talk about out of body experiences paul now the apostle himself second corinthians chapter 12 please let's rush one error we have to kick out of the body of christ the messages the people bring notice listen the bible says you shall know a tree by what? Its fruit. That's whatever proceeds from that tree. Is that not true? That means like who, who said it? I, I think it was Mike. That said everything God creates. He leaves an imprint of himself. If God gives you a word and is from him. There will be something about his karagma on that word. How many people tell me the truth. Have been comforted by the recent divine revelation teachings. How many do? that you know there are so many people who have gotten into religiosity people locked up their businesses people packed out of school other people went somewhere people just killed a lot of things fashion designers stopped their businesses they are broke now they are suffering because they told them that anything anything at all oh if you see we've won, it came from the the marine power if you understand satan you know that he does not have the power of creation he has an ability to mimic and corrupt that which is created are you getting my point now I, I, you can everybody has his personal belief and all of that i'm not but i'm just saying the reasons people are giving there is only one reason why people are in hell rejecting the gift of salvation that jesus brings are you getting my point oh a man of god did this this water was for bishop and he quickly drank it and when he was going out car hit him and he found himself that means all of us are going to hell you see that is killing what the bible calls the assurance of salvation so many people even preachers they don't know again whether they are saved or not hallelujah many people don't know whether they are saved or not and now the only way because that's the next thing i wanted to talk about is the false presentation of the gospel of holiness because there is the authentic gospel of holiness i tell you this one may is probably one of the biggest disasters that has happened to the church what has been taught to be the gospel of holiness is not what jesus taught are you getting my point now because a lot of people believe they are going to go to heaven based on the things that they have kept and avoided or done this and that. No, sir. 
Hallelujah. You have no right to take a revelation and begin to yoke it on people based on your perception of truth. You see, let me tell you something. The army that God is raising is an army that must remain as students. We must create a posture that shows that we are students such that you are not ashamed to confront the revelations you have held as authentic when you see a higher light. We must have that humility. There's nothing embarrassing to accept that, look, I may not have seen it in this light. I was blind, but now I see. The Bible talks about a man called Apollos. He was a learned man in Acts 18. The last few verses. And the Bible says, but you knew only the baptism of John. Is that true? And then Aquila and Priscilla came. They called him and they expounded to him more perfectly. And he was humble enough to receive. And then he now went to the temple and began to debate and argue intelligently. There are lots of people in the body of Christ who are under bondage. Terrible bondage. That innocently came, but is a product of the spirit of deception. For instance, there are many people who believe that if I, let me use a lady, come. If I give this lady a hug more, ah, this, this may be a problem. I've done something, I've compromised. It can cost me my salvation. And so because I have to shift to that religious mode. Listen, please. I'm not criticizing any, any church. Are you following me now? This is an apostolic teaching. It's a teaching to the body of Christ. Salvation is personal. Your dealings with God is personal. And it's time for us to kick the walls that are stopping us from entering the authentic experience of the kingdom. Because of this right now, the guy can sit down. He does not yet have the ability to conquer lust. But religious mold has made him to know or to feel that, okay, you must confirm. And then people are looking at him and he looks like a sanctimonious brother. Whereas he's dying with masturbation because that's the only thing he can do. And the devil says, this is exactly what I want. And then he uses it to bring condemnation. And the guy gets up. And before men, he's wonderful. And he's struggling. And the sister is struggling. And they go back and keep doing it. There are all kinds of atrocities happening in our churches. Pastors sleeping with members. Many things are happening. Everybody carries a nice cloth and we come. And hide under this demon called religion. Hallelujah. That does not mean we'll be lawless. This is the balance again. Because some other people in an attempt to address this just like me. They tell people, okay, fine. Don't be religious. Don't do this. Dress anyhow. Do what you want to do. Say anything. So you can be in the church. I can be preaching. And a lady can just come. And I'll just hold her. Give her a nice peck. And say, sweet, how you look sweet. And you sit down. Those garbages will be part of what will exit out of the body of Christ. There is a lot of another dimension of imbalance. Are you getting my point now? We have all kinds of carelessness. I believe that these things are not the things that determine salvation. But then there, there are some things that just don't make sense. A man of God comes hanging all kinds of chains around him with all kinds of rings, tearing his jeans, sagging them. I mean, I'm not talking of a guest, some a little youth meeting or boot camp. This is the, the, the default. He's the overseer of the ministry. He comes with his glasses, comes and all. That is nonsense. It's a spirit of seduction. Hallelujah. A woman comes on stage and she's preaching. Half of the message, the brothers are not following. Their minds are, they are just struggling. Lord, I will make heaven. I need to grow. This is another balance. So let me balance it very quickly. Because there are a group of immature revivalists arising in their bid to contain these things in the flesh. I'm just telling people, be as lawless as you can be. That's a sign that we are out of the law. There is a balance. 
We're a disciplined army. We are not idiots. Liberty is not rebellion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Second Corinthians 12, from verse 3 to 4. Did I say? From verse 3 to 4. Verse 3. And I knew such a man, Paul speaking, listen please. Whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. For how that he was caught up into paradise and had what? Unspeakable words which are not lawful for men to what? Is that in your Bible? That means all these ones that people go. Have you not seen that many times when the apostles see revelation, he tells them, seal this. It's for an appointed time. But now people come back with every message. This is deception. Are you getting my point now? There are a few people, however, who we have judged their revelations based on the integrity of God's word. And we have found that their messages have brought healing and hope to the body of Christ. For such kind of people, we commend them and we endorse them. But even at that point, their word does not become the final, the final, uh, what do we call it now? This thing that they, yardstick. I cannot begin to run my ministry after Mary Baxter's vision. Are you getting my point? I've had a lot of visions. I live in the realm of visions. I can never run ministry just based on visions. Ask the leaders. Every time I see anything, no matter how authentic the experience is, the word of God must prove it, not confirm it. Prove it. Prove it. The Bible didn't say confirm all things. It said prove all things. If you are looking for confirmation, you will find it. You will find a scripture that endorses a man sleeping with a woman, although they are not married. It's in the Bible. The Bible is a prophetic book. You can make it speak any language you want. The Bible did not say use the Bible. Just to confirm things. Prove it. Test the spirit behind it. Everybody now is looking for confirmation. So we get the revelation from all kinds of realms. That's the reason why you go to native doctors and the rest. You see Bibles there. because Since it's Bible you want. They keep it there for you. When it's time to do the spell. They say lay your hands on the Bible. And swear that you will be faithful. And you swear, but they will still do their demonic things. And you will be convinced that because there was a Bible there, it was God. Because of this deception. You don't use the Bible for confirmation. The Bible proves all things, yet nothing proves it. When I talk of Bible, I'm not just talking about the error of men. I'm talking about the edited spirit word that is given. Hallelujah. What do I talk about again? I want to show you something. One other error in the body of Christ is neglecting the reality of spiritual laws. I said it. Everybody say it after me, both inside and outside. Spiritual laws abound. They exist. They are real. As real as physical laws. Look at me. Do you know why God did not kill Cain when he sinned? Because he knew that there were spiritual laws at work. Are you getting my point? And those laws will catch up with him. Are you following me now? When you violate certain things and some things happen to you, it's not like God brought it. There are laws. Are you getting my point? jump from this building now praying in tongues as you are jumping for no reason it's not like they threw you to destroy you that you expect you expect the hand of god just jump from it what do you think will happen to you because of the existence of a law now watch this regardless of that law a plane still moves is that true does the movement of the plane stop the fact that there is that law it means it's operating by another law that shields it 
Are you getting what I'm saying? Curses are real. Yokes are real. Manifestations of witchcraft in lives and families are real. They are very real. Listen, these are spiritual laws. What light does for us is to tap into what Christ has done and exempt ourselves. Are you getting me? Let's look at one scripture and then we'll pray. That does it for today. Just one scripture. I want to show you a scripture. Psalm 64. Let's trace these activities of those we call familiar spirits. Every time I teach, it's always in my culture to try to bring balance. There is a lot of junk about deliverance, demonology, and so on and so forth. However, I believe that there is an accurate perspective that we can look at to gain understanding. Hear my voice, oh God. This was the psalmist praying by revelation. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy too. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Verse 3. Hmm. Who wet their tongue like a sword. That means these guys speak certain things. And bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Even bitter words. Verse 4. He said that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly they do shoot at him and fear not. Verse 5. It says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They, com they commune of lyingness privately. They say who shall see them? 6. They do what? They search out. Who are these people that search out? They go to an extent. Where did they write it? That they go back to archives and search out iniquities of families. Are you following me now? This is in your Bible. They search out iniquities. He said they accomplish a what? Diligent search. They are meticulous. When God opened my eyes to this, it surprised me. Are you getting my point now? Have you read that word blotting out every handwriting? So there are handwritings, correct? There are ordinances. The Bible says they search out iniquities. Hallelujah. Maybe at another time I will continue this teaching of these angels that I told you. Because when they fell, listen, they wanted to translate themselves back to the angelic state they did not know that god had the power to stop them so in an attempt to translate themselves back they were stopped they are the ones who have become demons today are you getting me so they need material bodies to find expression this is the basis of traditionalists this is the basis of a lot of things that we celebrate in the rampant outbreak of the prophetic that we call word of knowledge you see it they search out i'm not saying everything is corrupt are you getting my point now but i'm telling you that many of these things otherwise how can a herbalist look at you how many of you have seen these guys that scam and swindle people in a car and sometimes they will give you an they will take you to one baba right and give you an accurate word of knowledge how did they know because they don't have the holy spirit so there must be some spiritual system hmm. they search out iniquities it is on the basis of this search that lucifer satan the accuser of the brethren are you getting me now based on these findings this is what he reports and he says god according to your justice this is what has happened that means there is a law that should follow this family are you getting my point and suddenly you find out women are not getting married people are not getting married things are not working nothing is working anybody comes to you for a relationship 
what will happen to him in two weeks nobody will tell him he will pack his load by himself and go and you are wondering what in the world is going on listen listen it is demonic many of us and our loved ones are victims of these things but they've told you hallelujah just believe it's not there again you say it's not there again you went back it's still there this thing is following you you see patterns i told you this thing satan wants transgenerational allegiance many students you are very brilliant like exam right now you go to the class and you find out that you black out in all sincerity other people think you are lazy you know you are not lazy there is a puzzle somewhere you are trying to understand now you come to the ministers and they tell you did you read yes they say all right i speak over you it is well and demons just mock the men of god and say look at how shallow and the student goes back and gets the same kind of tragedy but when there is light darkness must bow this is the reason why you are hearing testimonies of sudden admissions sudden this and that see brothers and sisters i taught you that every time you speak the realm of the spirit will check what revelation you are standing on are you seeing why some people's words are not powerful because when you speak the devil knows you don't even know what you are saying you are just carrying the delusion of faith and you're just saying i speak leave this family now based on what what is the spiritual intelligence that sponsors that statement when you have it there is light in your spirit and it is that light that will force that dimension of darkness that's why sometimes you can see as we are teaching the power of god just breaks out and demons are living or maybe during the miracle service these things are not magic it's a product of light are you getting my point as you're sitting under this teaching now a lot of things are suddenly coming in your mind are you getting me now it's now making sense to you why your father was walking although an elder in church he grew to a certain height and he fell and that's exactly what has been happening he went for deliverance and fell down he got up and the same thing has happened with that it has even gotten worse have you seen people who come and receive some miracles and go back and their families become worse it's a spiritual blackmail to discredit the ministry of the men of god so that they will say they got powers from darkness not everybody got power from that are you getting my point now you see how complicated the body of christ is at this point that's why we need accuracy please don't miss the meetings because there is a there is a construction there is a we want to go back to this foundation what is responsible for the darkness in our lives nothing just happens brothers and sisters as you're seated right now you know that this word you are hearing is the deliverance of your family this word you are hearing some of us who are parents here and are seated we know that this is the puzzle behind the things that are happening hallelujah but it will take light brothers and sisters it takes spiritual intelligence during the monday counseling i was ministering to a lady and as soon as she came and i casted out the spirit and at once the lady just lay down and the lord opened my eyes at once and i saw the spirit in the realm of the spirit it was laughing and i said the lord rebuke you the protocol were here and the, the lady jacked back up somebody would have said thank you jesus and he just get up say, ah, that's it and the demons would say kai men of god of these days they are not powerful at all say after me the light of god is upon me taking away every darkness and by the power of the holy spirit i become a, an agent of healing prosperity deliverance and grace to all around me and my family members hallelujah
this is what is responsible for many things in our families this is why you find out that certain tribes and certain geographical places are prone to certain attitudes we say these things do not happen but we are seeing it there is a spirit upon the continent of africa that is responsible for what is happening hallelujah you see people come from certain places you see people come from plateau state you see people come from kaduna state from kogi state from lagos from the river and areas you see patterns that are happening yet we say oh it, there's there's nothing wrong i'm okay just declare that i'm okay and you say i'm okay and the demon say i'm fine too i'm fine with you i like this revelation you're having i'm fine with it but when light strikes see there are many of you based on this revelation you will start calling home and your parents will start telling you what is this dream that i'm having what is, you will see that there are shiftings know that is a response to what is happening it's already happening in some families right now you are seeing it you something you just know you can't explain but you know that certain foundations these demon spirits are saying who is this who is this this is le a level of light that is notable and they they begin to walk but you see light does not beg darkness authentic light comes and comes to conquer hallelujah this is the mystery behind this healing of hiv and all of these things you are seeing when you understand them no man of god will boast and brag in himself because in all sincerity when you know this it's just a proper application of spiritual intelligence hallelujah it's like clapping for yourself because you took your bath you say what i'm so impressed that i can bath what is special about that you can clap for a baby because you say this is amazing ha ah, you bath yourself the child will say yes yeah. say clap for yourself and he claps now imagine that Sam comes to see me and I just said I, I finished Bapi and Sam will say boy am I impressed a time will come what we celebrate as power will take another dimension what men of God have camped around it will be ordinary people who will be doing it because of the higher dimensions of grace are you getting me time for miracle service we'll just say you go and bring those who you heal delivered prayed for and come we testify together and receive greater grace do you know the training you are receiving now is such that it puts you to work immediately and your jerusalem is your family anyone who is not concerned about his family is so, is a sign that something is wrong with you bishop a pretty lady with nobody to marry her getting into the 40s nobody to marry her people say it's just like that the ratio of men to women is so on and so forth what is all that but when you sustain spiritual intelligence you can say light be and it will become hallelujah praise the lord rise up on your feet let's pray i want us to take some time please pray as you pray tonight certain things will begin to happen in your life please everybody participate in the prayer as you pray tonight something will begin to happen in your families you will begin to feel the spiritual shift the devil must give up on you this year and your family members hold hands together and begin to pray in tongues please instrumentalists help us hold hands together and just begin to pray in tongues. Please pray seriously. Prayer is a spiritual law. It has nothing to do with convenience. You're not filled with the Holy Ghost. As we pray, let the power of God come upon you that you begin to utter those mysteries. Please pray.
Ambrose to praise go secete lekete kotabalaba You will contend until victory comes You will contend rekete kete outside make sure you are praying outside make sure you are praying rekoto prekete lebaka pata kata bragala balaba Rekoto broska pakata, pekata prekata leka, maka bresko prende kozeba. Every second elebo kosho prekele balaba. Mabra tosko pa indekea, egresko prekete leko tos, maka prakata leko tos prekele balaba. Meke broske taliaba. Arise, arise, by light, by revelation, arise. Shake up darkness, shake up darkness. Rekete ko prekete lekete ka. Pray and say I'm changing. I'm changing. My status is changing. Rekete keleba. There's no more decline. I'm on my way to better days, to the life God designed for me. Hallelujah. The answer. To the tragedy of my family is already unfolding. This age-long puzzle is opening. Rekete kete koko to balada bakana bara. Namra kata balada bash. Rekete kere boso prekete. Come on, pray in the spirit. Activate breakthroughs in the spirit. You are praying out of the depth of revelation. Rekete kete kete prakata balada balada ba. Mam prakata prakasha kete. Rekata prakata balada bash. Rambo koso prakete. Rekete ke bosha pariyama. Mam prakete le bosho so prakete bosh. Please no looking at one another. Pray, pray, pray. Rekete bosh ko prakata balada ba. Your flesh may be weak, but pray is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Prayer is a sacrifice. It's not about convenience. It's about the higher revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number 1. You are going to pray. Hallelujah. And you are going to say, "Lord, I dispel darkness out of my life." Are you hearing me? You are going to say, "Lord, by the light whatever represents darkness in my life, it bows tonight. Lift your voice and pray." It could be sickness in your body. It could be a yoke of bondage. Satan is only as powerful as the darkness in us permits him. Pray. Let light shine. God, who had commanded light to shine out of darkness, had shined in our hearts to grant unto us. The knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus. Let there be light. 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 Prophesy light. Light to my family. Light. Prophesy light. To your exams, light. To your academics, the powers that be, they must bow tonight by the force of revelation. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall live by every revelation. Revelation brings life. It brings light. It brings power. Pray. Babylon is falling. That corrupt system, that secrecy of evil, that genetic code of wickedness, that is responsible for the life 
that people are needing the wickedness the pain cause that system that that one must fall by a rod of a higher priesthood this is not the ironic priesthood our confidence is tied to a higher priesthood after the order of Melchizedek is a priesthood of glory is a priesthood of power Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was he praying? You are going to mention every area of your life one by one. And you are going to say, Lord, the chains, they are broken tonight. While we sing, play that song, break every chain. Many of you will be surprised. At the testimonies you will have these are not testimonies that are happening by mistake you know how they are happening so you can reproduce it in the life of others lift your voice chains i prophesy be broken chains of delay chains of delay chains of barrenness Chains of fear, chains of failure. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Chains, chains of pornography, chains of masturbation, chains of wickedness, chains of sickness, chains of joblessness, chains of failure. Chains of witchcraft Break every chain By the power of the blood of Jesus Break every chain We contend By revelation We storm the gates of hell We storm the gates of hell By the power of light We storm Babylon We prophesy your doom In our lives Babylon the great Falling Babylon the great Falling Hallelujah Two quick prayer points Hallelujah Hallelujah Praise the Lord Please pair yourselves into two The Bible says if any two shall agree as touching anything you are going to pray for your families right now this year we must carry our family members along listen listen pharaoh said i will let you go but leave the children and the animals moses said no way we are going together i can't go and allow my sister who will save them you can't go and let your loved ones die like that are you getting my point that prophetic light will shine until every member of your family is part of this you are going to pray confront every darkness in your family you know the darkness lift your voice and pray the darkness of witchcraft and culture i contend come on pray there's no pretense in this place pray our family members have suffered this cycle of failure by the power of the Holy Ghost. We confront you, knowing that we have authority. We expose the doers of evil. We expose the doers of iniquity. We expose the spirit of death, the spirit of failure, that invisible manifestation of darkness that is responsible for death for barrenness for miscarriages for failure pray that limitation of poverty confront poverty that spirit that yoke that devilish device that has been projected to your family that is responsible 
prophesy a recovery prophesy a recovery I call back opportunities for my family I call back I call back their spiritual fervency I call back their finances I call back the joy Hallelujah. One more prayer point and we're done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for Koinonia. We're going to say, Lord, let your light shine. People must be liberated. Are you hearing me? Let me tell you something. Listen. Hear me inside and outside. Every one of you who comes for this meeting, your coming alone is a miracle. Are you hearing me? If you know the powers of darkness, that if they had their way, would stop you from hearing what you are hearing. Ask the people that come for counseling. 90% of them tell you the morning for counseling, something stops them. Or an accident and they almost capsize. One of the greatest ways breakthrough comes is the manipulation of time. Read your Bible and see what God did with time when it was time to visit people. He made the sun to stand still. He made the sun to go backward. Are we together? He did something to time. When you lose time, you have lost everything. Believe in the Lord your God. Number two. Please, let's go back to um, Second Chronicles. He said, believe in his prophets. Listen carefully. His prophets here doesn't just mean someone that prophesies. His prophets here doesn't even mean someone who is not fake. That means someone who is real. That's not what he's talking about. He said, believe his prophets. So shall ye prosper. To prosper means to do well. He says, believe his prophets. His prophets are not just people who prophesy. His prophets are not just real men of God. <clears throat> Listen carefully. This is where we miss it. You must learn this. His prophets here are not just men who are doing the biddings of God. It has nothing to do with maybe someone being real. His prophets here means the person sent to you. Listen, listen. The Bible, um, come Sam. Come darling. Look at this. I'm Elijah. And I'm going to the house of a widow of Zarephath. Are we together? Don't you think on my way going, I'm going to meet other people who have problems. So I meet a gentleman who has a problem and I just greet him. How are you? Where is the house of the widow of Zarephath? He's shaking me but doesn't receive anything because I'm not sent to him. I'm a prophet. I probably met other widows. Elijah probably met other widows lamenting and he said, Oh dear, you mean it? You mean this how your life is? Sorry, eh? And he kept going. The same way Jesus saw ten lepers. The same way Jesus would see people and touch one and stand up and go there is a man sent to you there is an anointing sent to you listen i know that many people will not like me for what i'm telling you not every anointing can bless you generally speaking by opening your heart i mean at the anointing a portion to change your destiny it's true hear what i'm telling you and then god will bless you There is an anointing, a portion. There is a grace designated. Let me tell you, happy are you the day you come into the environment where the anointing that was sent for you. Do you know, let me tell you this, and I tell you this honestly, my heart is passionate 
when it has to do with blessing people but i have met people in my life that i just prayed for them just for praying sake but i knew in my spirit i wasn't sent to them of course you won't tell them so they don't feel bad but you know but i've seen others i could even wait for them to share their challenges because i know i know the anointing sends to you so believe his prophets are we together there were many widows in zarafath elijah was looking for just one haba prophet what of other women <clears throat> i love them i can pray i can intercede may god bless you do a b and c but i'm looking for a woman of zarafath where is she finally you find her and his clash is not even ready for you she's doing something else the prophet would have been angry to say i spent time to come here you don't even know what you are missing i'm on my way going but because he was sent he had to stay his assignment was to change her life when you find the anointing and the prophet that god has sent over your life and your situation let me tell you you will watch that anointing rubbish your situation in the as if satan does not exist is it's not just this is where we have a little challenge with many believers who just say the most important thing is god yes you are right but you are wrong the most anointing is anointing what is there what is so special about this man of god this is what i'm teaching you now people are sent to people even the word of god is sent he sent his word like a messenger meaning until that word is sent you can stay there but when the word comes like a messenger angel gabriel left other believers around earth and was directed to one person daniel all that fight for 21 days in the heavenlies he would have been angry to say i'm going to someone else mm -mm. he said daniel i am come to give you understanding are you the only one i am come to give you understanding jesus is appearing by the road saul is on his way to damascus brothers and sisters the bible says there were other people with saul god would have been fair enough to at least give them something and then he isolates one person and discusses with the person the rest just fall down and don't even know what threw them down they just got up to clean themselves and say kai now wow, what is all this one now whereas one person has that encounter sent 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 the word that changes my life sent i have had encounters with sent words and sent prophets and my god did my life change tonight let me tell you if you can believe this he said believe his prophets i know you are a businessman i know you are educated i know you are smart but there are many equations in this life that cannot be solved with pen and paper they are solved from the realm of the spirit it's only the result you receive here are we together now Believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. Write this down, please. His prophet here is the vessel sent from him to you. You must first acknowledge that this vessel is sent from God to you. And one of the ways that you can help yourself to believe the prophet god has sent to you is investigate the dealings of god with that man don't just believe for nothing you have a right to investigate the dealings of god with that man what is so special about this man why should i believe him why should i take the word that he's bringing seriously every true prophet of god has a track record of his dealings with god investigate the dealings of god study the track records of his results i think it's unfair if you just yoke people to believe you just like that no give them room to study the track records of your result and find out 
whether the results are worth your believing how do you believe his prophets open up your spirit to receive both his grace and his instructions don't just receive the grace alone instructions many times believers miss it because we miss instructions very subtle instructions sometimes very ego stinging instructions like you were seated here now and then i just said everybody shout jesus you know i don't mean to embarrass your intelligence you don't sit on a seat and shout jesus you've been singing a song before you came here you there was jesus more than 10 times in that song you kept shouting jesus jesus lover of my soul and nothing happened and here you are sitting and a man is saying just shout jesus once if you don't have this revelation you can sit down and say please what is we are not children here what is all this nonsense he told naman go to jordan wash seven times naman said me jordan there are clean rivers somewhere and the small girl said you are the one in trouble if you don't go and wash you can go back with your lepros two scriptures and then we'll pray exodus chapter 14 and verse 31 and israel saw the great work which the lord did upon the egyptians he says and the people feared the lord and believed the lord and also what his servant moses god performs mighty things and creates that track record not just so that he alone will be believed god also wants the vessel he's using to be believed the bible says they feared the lord they believed the lord and they believed his servant they believed the lord and they believed his servant you believe the lord you don't believe his servant you may not get any miracle Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. And the Lord said unto Moses, look up please. Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with thee, and believe thee forever. That means I can talk to you without the cloud. But I keep that cloud as that evidence so that the people can trust that it is me you are talking to. I'm, I'm going that far because I don't just want the people to believe me alone. I want them to believe you too because their receiving is dependent on their, both their believing me, God, and their believing you, his servant. He says, and the Lord said, I come in a thick cloud. So sometimes when God does some of these signs and wonders, it's, it's not really just for him alone. When God does some of these things, oh, there's a lady here and someone is shouting. Another, you know what God is doing? He's using those things. It's, it's a similitude of the cloud to help you see. You can call somebody and say, who is grace or who is um, victory? And you can say, this is just guessing. I'm sure it's just guessing. But how do you guess that someone in this direction do you guess that one god does some of these things sometimes purposely to just address the the leftover of unbelief because you see some of us are coming from different christian experiences some of us have been our minds have been messed up by all kinds of theology all kinds of philosophies some of us have had bad experiences with all kinds of men of god prophets and whatever and chances are that when you come like this usually you will just add the man of god to the list of all the people and hope that he's just a better version of them and god says not so and he uses these signs to speak to you that you are in mount zion are we together it's amazing how a little miracle can just readjust your own belief immediately. Readjust your own belief while the devil is trying to lie to you. Can your life be changed all of a sudden? The, the power will touch the person near you. 
this somebody you shook hands with turn to your neighbor and say this and that so you know that the person uh, the person can be acting it's a very difficult thing for believers to believe God but I think it's even harder to believe a man of God and people have all kinds of justifications as to why they shouldn't believe men of God but regardless of what your justifications are if you believe God and don't believe the vessel you will be established but you will not prosper are we together your prosperity is what gives evidence to your establishment you must believe one word from God can turn your life around one prophetic word can turn your life around all these strange spirits that oppress people they don't just go because they are told to go no it takes the anointing i was talking with one of the protocol uh, people when we were coming down here and i told him i was shaking my head and then i was talking to him and i said i am amazed driving down to come for the miracle service now i said i am amazed at how people in africa and nigeria trivialize success I am shocked at how people um, believe that success is about luck. It's amazing how people can see a huge sacrifice and trivialize it and just make it look like, I think these people are just fortunate. Is that true? I, I, these were my contemplations while I was coming. Listen, there's no result that happens in this kingdom by mistake now including the testimony you are about to have that gentleman from ghana he did not just press this thing and found my name no 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 the anointing that is sent with that word works day or night are we together now there are many testimonies just like his that gentleman you see that now someone will tell you i was sitting and i had a dream how about those who buy new phones brand new phones brand new phones and then they open it and see koinonia messages inside how do you explain that a new phone not new uh, what they call that thing not new memory card i'm not talking about new memory card a new phone that you bought it tear rubber you are the one who opened it then the first thing you see inside is a message that answers your question who, who now who, how do you explain that listen listen we live in a world that is not natural it only manifests the spiritual naturally the 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 the, the, the earlier you got this the better my brothers and my sisters hear me all that you see in this world is only a reflection say reflection the real control room in this our world is the realm of the spirit whoever can ascend this three-dimensional realm has the advantage of victory nothing happens that is physical are we together one of the reasons why many of us are seated here tonight among the many miracles we desire is finance oh nigerians finance you want to talk a good news to any honest nigerian right now in this day and age as we transit into the ember month no matter speak about their spiritual life yes speak about their love for god passion new depths but please don't ignore that other one just even if it's in passing just say something about it finance many people want to see financial breakthrough many people are working and they are trusting god for breakthrough and remember the strange thing about finance do you know why listen i'm not talking about money we're going to pray shortly do you know why many believers are poor because in the kingdom finance is warfare money is not just an instrument to live well it's a weapon see listen oh dear what's it ecclesiastes 7 let me just talk a little you was uh i, I, I didn't plan to say this but ecclesiastes 7 verse 12 let me show you something May God give somebody deliverance right now. Read it, read it. One to read. For wisdom is a defense. Uh-huh. And money is a defense. Just stop there. 
So we know from the word that both wisdom and money is a defense. Now look up. When the Bible says you have a weapon, what is a weapon? Something you use to both defend yourself and you can use also for attack. Is that true? If you give me a weapon, like a shield, I use it for defense. And the Bible says one of the many weapons, money is one of them. And the Bible says those weapons are not carnal. The word not carnal means they are not man-made. But my brother, my sister, this thing is man-made. It was made by CBN. That means this is not what God is talking about. Because this is man-made. But the Bible says this weapon that he calls money is not carnal. He says it is mighty through God. That means there is a spirit. Are you getting what I'm saying? That means this thing is only the body the same way human being is called currency anything that moves is a living thing and that means there is a spirit inside the body to move it you are only seeing the body where is the spirit that moves it that's why it can enter a house you didn't ask it to go and it will go out by itself it can enter your account and still go out because it's warfare the bible says believe is prophet there is something they can do that can do something to the many things including this this is what we chase all around because we think this is paper no this is not this is paper yes but there is a spirit behind it and this thing respects that spirit this is what you need to understand so the spirit can instruct it to leave you and it can leave no matter how hard working you are you can receive salary and all you have is part of this left and it can be instructed to leave you it will, you know it's going it's going out of your life it just touches your hand and disappears because the weapons prosperity is warfare it's not just about money to buy car and houses. Money is a defense. It can defend the gospel. It can defend a man. And the Bible says all those weapons, they are not carnal. So if you ever see this looking for anybody, Naira does not look for men. Something makes it come. I, please are you getting what i'm saying if you can understand this alone at least even if you don't know how it comes you already know that it doesn't come by itself these are the mysteries that surround our kingdom you ever see anybody prosperous in the kingdom my brothers and my sisters listen to me this is a spiritual realm you don't have to be a christian to believe it you just have to be alive this is a spiritual realm animals know it plants know it's a spiritual realm that's why you throw a seed in the ground and you cover it you don't leave it open you cover it because what happens there is none of your business now you just cover it and watch it happen and it grows to become a tree that you cannot push down a little seed when you planted it it had no roots the bible says just like you do not know the way of the wind nor how a woman how a child is formed in the womb of her that is with child you know and all of that so also you don't know the way of god the lord brought you here tonight because there are spiritual possibilities listen that are beyond the realm of the eyes are we together most times we believe only what we can see and understand and explain unfortunately in this kingdom there are things that you may not be able to explain when people come here to testify you see me sit quietly and i watch and many times i'm in shock as i watch the immutability of god's power in the lives of people the same way you are going to come up here to testify yes it's true 
what suddenly happens to you and then you have someone just call you and say we are sending you to us to get a job Abba, my brothers and my sisters i've told you again and again that everybody who helps you has relatives too who i need whatever makes you to leave them and come to you is not normal that you're sitting and someone says i'm thinking of you who do you think you are no i want to help you i want to bless you you step into prepared blessings blessings that you are as sure he said master we have toiled all night and jesus looked at them you know how to fish by waiting in the night and allowing the fish to come and rest on your net then you quickly pull it in the morning that's how you were trained but let me show you another technology cast your net to the right side master but we only have left and right <clears throat> this one is not brain work now this one is not one plus one i told you one plus one plus god is equal to whatever he says the answer should be one plus one is two but one plus one plus God is not equal to two. It's not even equal to 10,000. It's equal to any answer that God puts there. So one plus one can be equal infinity. God said so. Are we together now? I'm saying this to build your faith tonight so that you will believe that God is able to do anything at all when you look at the way you got to hear about this ministry and the various ways the holy spirit worked with you till you came today you should know already that there is a god in heaven are we together now brothers and sisters i present to you this same god who can change your life who will change your life i'm saying this so that you don't just sit down and be clapping for others wow this is how god has changed this lady's life wow we are soon going to pray you must have a desperation and say lord i didn't come tonight to clap for anybody i left my journey wherever lord i know that you will visit me and i hold on to the horns of the altar while you are sitting the devil is telling you remember tomorrow by 12 your rent or embarrassment say satan go away and before the presence of god tomorrow is too far god can how many minutes does it take to do a transfer I believe him yes i do i believe him i believe him i believe him i believe he can change my life in one minute i want you to just mention everything you are trusting god to do tonight go ahead lord i believe you for this i believe you for that Those outside, whether you are standing by the wall, whether you are standing in any of the overflows, and those following online, release your faith. Don't be distracted. Any spirit that distracts you in this moment now is of the devil. It's a Luciferian spirit. Let your spirit and let your attention be open. Yes, Lord, I believe you. Mention it. Don't say it's too big. That's the devil. Too big compared to what? Pray, believers. Lord, I know you are able. You are able to take away this reproach from this family. Talk to Jesus. Even if you find yourself crying, just continue to speak. Lord, you are able. Change this situation. Turn my academics around. Lord, turn my finances around. Lord, I'm in a situation right now where only you, the God of heaven, can arise. Turn my ministry around. Lord, I'm confused. I don't even know where to go right now. I don't know whether to go to the left or to the right, but I receive grace. Pray. Are you praying? Kill unbelief as you are praying. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time. God.
God of heaven. Keep praying. It says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and by supplication with thanksgiving it says make your request known don't assume it is known make your request known lord i'm here tonight because i want you to turn the situation of my family around lord there is a death sentence over my family and you have to arise for me tonight lord there is a death sentence over my life lord i've been delayed 10 years of my life i am backward 10 years there has to be a way you restore me oh god lord i'm trusting you for the fruit of the womb the gentleman who came here seven children lost including twins lord i'm trusting you to refire my spiritual life something has happened to the anointing upon my life something has happened to the glory upon my destiny i'm here tonight oh god turn my life around turn my life around something has happened the signs and wonders are no more like before the revelation and the grace and the utterance is not like before i'm here for a turnaround oh god my prayer life has died i'm here for a reawakening i no longer fast i no longer pray i don't know what has happened to me i cry for help One more prayer point lord i believe you and i believe your servant i believe that anointing and i believe in its ability to turn my life around walk on any unbelief in my heart oh god and take it out tonight go ahead and pray every spirit of doubt every spirit of fear Isaiah 61 please participate in everything we are doing it's going to be a very fast one but let your spirit be open the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord the same Lord that you are instructed to believe hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted now listen this is why he anointed me because there is an agenda but that that agenda cannot be achieved just by a well-meaning heart it takes more than sincerity to bind up a broken heart to proclaim liberty now i like this one to proclaim to declare that the time has come for you to walk free it says and the opening of prison my brothers and my sisters there can be men physically walking but they are in prison next verse Verse 2. 
to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those who mourn. It takes more than a handkerchief to comfort men. It takes the anointing. Verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Now this is the part I like. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. Hallelujah. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees or oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified so the end of it is for god to be glorified but not in the current state no so anything in your family make sure you carry your family along in this miracle service don't just stand alone to receive I've told you if you are blessed and your family members are not blessed, you are not free. You are not free at all. If you are the only one who is alive and everybody is just dying like a chicken, you are still not free. Are we together now? Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let me give us one last prayer point. Father, every desire I brought here tonight, I'm not walking back with it. Lift your voice and pray. Every. Let your faith rise as you pray. Shalakata barakato. Talato shabra hasikete malakata. Shakata kata barakata barate kete barakush. Every desire. Visit me, O oh God, completely. The God who touches my spiritual life can touch my finances too. The God who touches my body can touch my womb too. Lord, I insist. I insist for completeness. comes upon your life right now then the Lord okay I want to pray a prayer now please be your brother's keeper whether you are inside or outside is because of what will happen when I pray the anointing will come and people will act out what I'm saying physically that's why I'm saying you should you should just hold them are we together now the Lord is asking me to release speed. Listen, speed is a very powerful thing. When that anointing comes, you will start running like Elijah. That's why I'm saying, hold them. Right now, I stretch my hands inside, outside, online, and I declare, Spirit of the living God, there are men and women here who have been delayed. 
and speed must come upon them right now i declare at the count of three one two three receive that grace i command speed speed right now speed let the hand of god come upon you the bible says the hand of the lord was upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to Israel. i command speed receive it is coming on you now some of you is coming on you for the sake of your family it's not just you alone it's coming on you for the sake of your family let the chains be broken i release speed speed in one month in one month i'm prophesying that in one month what has not been done in five years in one month receive that grace i energize your spirit man speed when speed comes upon a family you will see it in the result when speed comes upon your spiritual life when speed comes upon your academics i'm praying again the angels that ride upon the chariots are bringing you speed i release that grace let that anointing come upon you speed speed in the name of Jesus Christ, speed! Shalakato sadakata, sheketo kata shalakato ziata. now now listen fire in the spirit has many significance fire this fire is a mystery it was a reality borrowed from the realm of the spirit that we use here fire does not run away from any element fire is the only thing that all other elements must fit whether you put metal the metal will be hot wood will be burnt rubber will be melted there is nothing that stands fire other things can stand water but not fire are we together now he said he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire when the holy spirit listen is moving to break chains he moves as fire do you know why because fire destroys every other thing yet it is not destroyed it is not solid it is not liquid are we together it looks like gas but it's there you are seeing it you can't hold it you can't cage fire you can't lock it up it's not restrained by anything the holy ghost is going to move right now in this place as fire listen this fire i want you to bring those people out this fire you see will bring an end now believe me when i tell you this will bring an end to many captivities many captivities at the count of three i just want you to shout with me that word fire that word fire and many of you will be surprised in the name of jesus where sam there's a song in my spirit when we sing that song what's the name of that song blow 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 like a mighty wind am i correct you know what i'm talking about so you sing that song by the time we pray in the name of Jesus I'm stretching my hands right now Spirit of the Lord you seek to reveal yourself as fire that consuming fire no power and no spirit even spirits can be burnt by fire in the name of Jesus I declare that any operation that is not of God at the count of three by the mystery of the Holy Ghost as fire let there be deliverance let there be refining let there be the breaking of chains are you ready now one two three bring them out fire the mystery of fire 
First time here? I came here last week. Okay, you were here last week and you too. Um, is this the is this the mama I asked to come? I think it's someone else I saw, but when you are here, we'll honor you. But I want to pray for you. Madam, look at me. I'm seeing witchcraft in your life and your family. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands, man. Look at me. I know you believe in the power of God. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end every oppression of darkness. Mama, I decree and declare, in one month, your life will turn around it to surprise you. In one month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is that man that came from my Duguri? The one who came to give a testimony. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying I should tell you that the oppression is over. Look, I'm seeing fire. It's leaving my hands and it's coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, where is that man? We have to hurry up. There's, there's a lot to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I decree and declare over your life. That fire. The Lord, it looks like you are an elderly woman, but the Lord is going to use you mightily. What you are receiving now is not just a miracle yet. You are receiving an impartation. 
you will begin to know the Holy Spirit in a very intimate way. Hold my hand. Spirit of the living God, you seek to use this dear mother in the name of Jesus Christ. You will know the Holy Spirit in supernatural ways. His fire will come upon your life and he will use you in a very mighty way. In the name of Jesus, come. You are the man that came from Eduguri. What is this? My CV. Your CV. You are trusting God for a job. And who is this? Hold it. Do you believe that if I pray for you, you are returning with a job? You believe that? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I release the anointing upon you and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let there be that miracle. You go and return with your job, sir. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare that the oppression of darkness comes to an end. A complete end over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray right now, but let me just... Um, the Lord is showing me all day. Sometimes this time, time, time just affects you. But I'm praying right now. And I'm seeing letters. And I'm seeing on the letter, congratulations. Listen. And I'm seeing that this is a symbolism of breakthrough. Listen, let me tell you. Except God is not God. If this anointing that I'm seeing touches you, then you and your family must stand here and testify. I'm stretching my hands right now. Lord, you are showing me this. In the name of Jesus, this is a symbol of breakthrough. I stretch my hands. Every family and every person that must receive of this grace, I'm stretching my hands now. You must testify. I release upon you that grace. You must testify. I declare whatever it will translate to, whether a job, whether increase, whether promotion, I command it, I declare it, I decree it. In the name of Jesus, I command it, I decree it, I declare it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hold the hands of this lady. This one. Hold the hands of this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands right now and I declare it's time for your family to rise. I'm speaking it by the spirit of prophecy and I decree and declare every embargo that holds onto that family, I command that it's gone now. In the name of Jesus, it is gone. I curse the power of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards me. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. And there are many of you, there is no grace on the works of your hands. I look and in the spirit, I don't see the blessing of the Lord working. That's what is responsible for hardship. It's not like you are not employed or you are not doing this, but in the name of Jesus, I stand representing the Spirit of God and I stretch my hands back to you. I'm declaring still that ministry of fire. Many of you will be surprised. Whatever it is you are involved in, God is about to bring grace upon it. I stretch my hands right now at the count of three. May the fire of God come through your hands into your life. Lord, I pray. In the name of Jesus, whatever has not been working in your life, I force it to work right now. Receive that anointing. I force it to work now. Inside, outside, I force it to work now. Those following online, I pray and I speak whatever it is that you are doing. I declare the blessing. I activate the blessing upon the work of your hand. I take away hardship from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take away hardship from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. 
Yabone na kawo Sujata ne na kawo Sarkin salama Sarkin aljana Yabone na kawo The Lord is opening the eyes of people into where your blessing is. I'm seeing fire, still this fire thing coming on the eyes of people physically. You will feel fire burning and ideas. The Lord is birthing things. Is is a birthing in the spirit. I release that grace right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, all those who must see, show them, oh God, where their blessings are stationed so that they stop dilly-dallying around life. I decree and declare, receive that grace, the grace of an open eye, the grace of an open vision. May the Lord show you where the resources of your destiny is. May the Lord show you where your helpers are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This, the prayer is for everybody, eh? But this particular prayer now is for ladies. The Lord is showing me destinies that must be changed. Outwardly, you are beautiful, you are good looking, you are virtuous, you are wonderful. But in the realm of the spirit, it's not what we are seeing physically that we are seeing in, this, in the realm of the spirit. A man with an ugly situation sat down at a gate called beautiful. The gate was beautiful, but the man's life was nonsense. There are many people you can stand. I'm, I'm saying everybody, but this is ex specifically for our sisters. And it's not just the issue of marriage. I'm not talking about marriage alone. That there is a fragrance, a presence that can ooze from you and bring favor to your life. But many of you physically, they look at you and you look like you are beautiful, you are this, you are that. But in the realm of the spirit, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I want to pray for you. That, that force, that veil must be torn. In the name of Jesus, ah, I'm seeing a strange grace that is coming on many people, especially our sisters. I declare any wrong identity that you are given in the realm of the spirit that is not a reflection of your true identity, any exchange that has been made in the realm of the spirit so that physically you should be blessed, but in the realm of the spirit you are carrying another person's destiny. Right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, sisters, may that anointing come upon you now. May that grace come upon you now. I declare anyone's destiny here that has been changed and switched and manipulated in the realm of the spirit so that what you look like is not a reflection of what your destiny is. I change it now in the name of Jesus. I change it now in the name of Jesus. Listen. A man's destiny can be exchanged. It's true. Have you not read in the Bible where kings slaughtered their children to prolong their own lives a man's destiny can be a shadow of something else you know you are alive but this is not your life you know that you are living another person's script i'm saying it again in the name that is above all names sir come
I don't know you, but I want to pray for you, sir. God is going to turn your life around. And you see this prayer that I'm saying generally, this prayer, sir, is for you. You are a shadow of your life. Of your is your dad. Where did he come from? From high there. From where? Hi, from high in there. Daddy, I'm going to pray for you. This is not just about your leg. Huh? This is about your destiny. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands up. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare. Entes kalabra hafas kata barakoto supriata kata mande kres koda hashabari katos kada natos kada natos kada mashada kata empre kete koto koto bat sada balakata shapres kete 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 balakata shapriata kata in the name of Jesus anyone who has exchanged your destiny sir I decree and declare restoration now. You are the daughter hold my hands i pray for you look at me you are a wonderful lady huh but bad things continue to happen in your life huh you are a nice lady are you married i'm married but we're divorced. don't worry i know why i'm saying you get what i'm saying now yes, sir. because what i'm seeing this is a spirit you are a nice lady but people continue to misunderstand you yes, sir. Yes, good sir. things and people look at you in the eye of many people now you are you are a devil you are a terrible lady, yes, but it's sir. not true. Yes, you have a very beautiful heart. This is what happens when... Do you know that there are spirits that make sure you are misrepresented in the eyes of people? A ministry can be under this captivity. No matter... The Bible said, don't let your good be evil spoken of. You can be nice to somebody like it's happening to many of you. And people end up fighting you. You bought something for them. And they end up, you are saying, what is this? I pray for you and the person says, so you are trying to say I'm the one who is not spiritual. It's a spirit. My dear, I want to pray for you. Huh? This thing is not just about your marriage that is, you know, things have gone wrong. You are a wonderful lady. Huh? Favor will come close to you, but then never enter your life. Yes, sir. What yes, do you sir. do? I'm working in a security. Uh, you are a security? Yes, sir. Did you go to school? Yes, sir. My you are running your masters. Yes, my dear, do you believe God can change your life yes, now? Yes, sir. I believe, sir. Hold my hands. To appoint unto them. You see that? To appoint. This one is a prophet's reward. It's not just that God is saying, do this. There is something in the spirit called a prophet's reward. The possibilities that accompany an office, I declare in the name of the God of heaven whom I represent, may your life change this night in a way that will surprise you. Listen, I lift you from this security work you are doing and I put you in a position that befits your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, Daddy sir, I'm praying for your daughter and your presence. This lady will come here. And give a testimony that even you as a father who said this one is the Lord's doing. Are we together now? I declare it, I decree it done right now. Hear me. I don't care whether you are working or not. If you are not in the rightful place as ordained by God. I want to pray a very serious prayer. Because there are people, the work you are doing is a nonsense work. That work is, it has robbed your spiritual life. It has destroyed your relationship. Because of that work, no man can see you to marry you. Demonic work that closes you everywhere. I decree and declare. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. If you are in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny, I take you out of that place and I shift you to the place of destiny. I shift you. I shift you in the spirit. I shift you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, if the widow of Zarephath was not where the prophet met her, that's how her miracle would have gone. It matters that you are in the right place at the time God sends your miracle. Some of these things in the name of employment, they are traps of the devil. I'm not saying it's not good to work, don't get me wrong. But many of them are traps from the peace of hell. 
there are people whose spiritual lives have gone down from heaven to earth simply in the name of job are we together nonsense job that on sunday you're on your way going to church your boss calls you and says you must come and resume what shall it profit a man if you gain the what is it is that the whole world how much is the salary lose your soul for peanuts i declare again in the name of jesus may my god relocate someone here by the power of the holy spirit may my god relocate a destiny relocate a family if you are not in your assigned place i shift you tonight in the name of jesus christ Do you know, listen, we are going to pray for the sick shortly. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, he will make sure they get visa. Ah, Pastor Jay, it's good to see you. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, they will get visa to UK. They think it's breakthrough, but they have gone away from their place of destiny. God spoke to Jonah, go to Nineveh. Jonah entered a boat on his way to Tarsus. And because of that wrong journey, people lost their properties. People lost. He entered a boat and made people to start destroying their lives. They were almost dying because a man was not in sync with seasons. Let me tell you this. It matters that God meets you at the place where your blessing is waiting for you. The devil can relocate people and, and destroy your life. There are many Nigerians outside this country whose destiny is ordained by God to be in this country. You see them roaming around like armed robbers around the world in the name of abroad. And there are others whose destinies are abroad and the devil will make sure that he will peg them somewhere. And Isaac sowed in that land. It's not just that he sowed. The place he sowed matters. Isaac sowed in that land. Abraham, take now thy son and go. Go to a location. That's where I will meet with you. God is everywhere. But destiny does not meet with men everywhere. You must have the discernment to understand your season of visitation. I repeat this. You see me speaking like this. I'm speaking by the spirit. There are some of you. It's an instruction from God to you. Don't be careless about your life. Look at how many Nigerians. You go to embassies. And see Nigerians. They want to go abroad by fire by force. Ask them why. They will say greener pastures. I've told you. Greener pastures is not in any physical location on earth. Greener pastures is in the world. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything? Not when you went. Jesus instructed them and said, Do not go. Go only to the lost tribe of Israel. Don't go outside that camp. Because salvation was for the Jews first. If they went to the Gentiles, they would have received a root shock. Direction. Direction. Please, in one minute before we pray for the sick, lift your voice and say, Lord, direct me. He said, The Lord is my shepherd. Direct me. There is a way that cement right unto a man, unto a woman, unto a family. Direction. Your blessing is not just generically in US or UK. There are people suffering in every nation. It takes the leadership of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, two things we are going to do very quickly. And I know you have been doing this, but please, I want to plead with you to do it with understanding. Most times we do things in this kingdom without understanding. That's why we are not blessed. Are we together? We are going to pray for the sick now. Don't walk out here if you expect to walk back the same way. Come here convincingly, knowing that God is going to touch you. 
And while we are doing that, um, your prayer, if you don't have your prayer request, please write it quickly. Write it quickly. And in case your faith, you came here with a faith that is weak, you did write some vital things, you can add it quickly. Those online, you can send, you can send your prayer request very quickly. Now, we are going to do this very fast because our time is gone. Thank God Pastor Jax is here. Are we together? Now, overflow. Listen, let's not be rowdy. Overflow one outside will walk to your projector stand. Overflow two, you also walk to your projector stand. Overflow three, walk to your projector stand. Those who are in here, you are trusting God to touch you, to touch your family members. You can make your way and come and stand orderly in front here now. Please, quickly, quickly. Let's do that very quickly. While we are doing that, please, if you have written your prayer request, I want you to wave it and ushers, you may find a way of splitting yourself very quickly. Let's, let's have ushers. If the ushers are not in our PR department, you can join them and then let's make it very fast. Make sure everyone's request um, is obtained, please. For those online, I want you to believe by faith. If you are still here to write, just write it. Ushers, please. There are hands all around. Let's help out. Protocol can also help so that we'll make sure that everyone's request. If it's a text on your phone and you don't have the opportunity to write it down while I'm praying, you can just connect with it. It's not just a ritual. Believe in what we're doing. In the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace and this corporate anointing. Pastor Jax Ejimi, there. Um, Pastor Alpha, Benga, Overflow, one. Pastor Femi, Promise, Overflow, two. Please, quickly, quickly. Let's go there and let's trust God to touch the people. God has anointed this ministry and he has given us the grace to be the extension of the hand of Jesus over your life. And I want you to agree. I want you to believe. The worship team will lead us in a moment of praise and worship while we pray. And please listen. Except the people are prophesying to you or they are talking to you. Just a touch. I want you to believe by faith. Are we together? You don't have to start giving them an explanation. This is why I'm here. Don't worry. Just connect by faith. If there is a word for you, the word will be given to you. Otherwise, just believe by faith. Father, we thank you. You call this place Koinonia and this meeting a miracle service. Lord, we pray for those online and those within. We decree and declare. Let there be a free flow of the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be delivered. Lord, let this touch not just be the touch of men. Let it be the touch of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let every one of these people come and testify here. In the name of Jesus. Now, those of you who, when you submit your prayer request, don't just be staring. This is not a cinema. You should be praying. Are we together? Because shortly after this, I will pray on this and I will speak over our lives. Prophecy is very powerful. So whilst you are standing there, whether you are, you know, up here or down, you should be prayerful, spiritualize your mentality. Now is not the time to laugh around and be talking carelessly. Let your spirit be alive. Hallelujah. God bless you. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be healed right now.
angels ascending, angels descending, heaven touches her in this place, in this place. Fire is burning, incense is rising, heaven touches her in this place.
That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. And that's what my song will be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. 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 Come on, say. what my song will be and that's what my song will be hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be that's what my song will be Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, if you are here to submit your request, just do it. As soon as we're done, there are people waving their request there. So while the worship team is leading us, please make sure that, make sure that you are in the spirit of worship. I know that you are feeling it, but make sure your heart is connected. So Alpha and Omega. We worship your name. Yeah. We worship your name. 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 We are praying on your request now. I'd like you to open your heart. Just pray in the spirit in one minute. Those following from any nation of the world, I'd like you to just pray. We're just going to pray and speak over this. Go ahead. Stretch your hands. We're praying on this request. Father, let your people return with testimonies. Ashala gata brada gata baraka to sada brada gadech. In the cross asia sahasa baraka to shabrada gada baladaba. Raka ta branda gada baladabosh. Ebratos gada brandi gadi baladabosh. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let impossible situations be turned around by the Spirit of God. Lekato shata prate kato sabrede gadeba. 
Rakata parata paratosa de prete que te baladaba. Aratose que le monta shin daba. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Lord, it is before you. These prayers are laid out. Father, we give you praise. Thank you because whatsoever we ask in your name, that you will do. Thank you for prayers. Thank you for answers. Thank you for praises. Thank you for testimonies that abounds. Father, we give you praise for there is nothing impossible with you. We give you glory because we know situations that have stood hitherto unbeatable. Lord, you will bend things tonight in the name of Jesus. You will change things tonight in the name of Jesus. You will bring breakthroughs by the power of your spirit. You bring healings. You bring deliverance. You will bring breakthrough, financial breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. You bring changes, Lord, deaths, supernatural deaths we cancel by the power of your spirit. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. Father, we thank you. Thank you for angels, the release of angels. Angels on assignment. Angels bringing solutions and answers to prayers. Father, we give you praise because many will stand before you to give testimony and give glory to your name. For in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It has been declared in the name of Jesus every request here. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, we turn it into testimonies. Yeah. And let some of them begin to manifest from this night. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let it be by the grace of God that by this time next month, you will, you will almost not have any request to write. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone, but I want you to lift your hands. I want to speak over your life now. Apostle, why do we do this all the time? Because this is how you program the destinies of people. These words you see, they are not just languages. It's not just the speaking. You know, I never cease to be amazed at how people's lives change overnight just because a word the bible says he sent a word to jacob not he spoke he sent a word to jacob and it lighted upon israel hallelujah and he blessed them saying and he blessed them not thinking saying in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that this month of September you are entering, let it be called your season of strange results. Let it be called your season of strange results. Anyone who has despised the grace of God upon your life, in the name of Jesus, may God use your life to prove a point. I decree and declare over your spiritual life a new vista of insight and access into the mysteries of the spirit I release it upon you right now if you are a man of God here I pray may your ministry shift to a new dimension if you are a woman of God here I pray may your ministry enter a new dimension of power I declare that someone here may you encounter the power of God raw, the raw power of God the same way God comes to man may his power come to you may you know the mysteries of the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life this is a family of great favor I declare if this grace is not yet speaking in your life I declare by the hand of God Almighty who brought that anointing upon my life and this house may favor practical favor begin to follow you from today in the name of Jesus Christ what you cannot do for yourself I ask my God to do it for you in this season. 
if you are a man of God here, I prophesy to you that the next time you stand upon this altar to dispense the word of God, may you see a dimension of the spirit through your life and your ministry that will surprise you. I know that there are many of us that are trusting God for all kinds of financial breakthrough. I've taught you the principles of finances, but there is a prophetic dimension of wealth. Are we together now? And in the name of Jesus, I declare the same grace that carried a raven and it brought bread to Elijah. I decree and declare, may that same grace carry your blessings and locate you with it in this season. In the name of Jesus, I pray for every family represented here. In the name of Jesus, and I say this from the depth of my heart, enough is enough. I prophesy it again, enough is enough. Whatever represents setbacks in any family, I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and I command that an end comes to it this night. Every graduate here that is trusting God for a job, you heard the testimony here, in the name of Jesus Christ, both where you applied and where you didn't apply, may the angel of the Lord see to it that a miracle job locates you. Those who are in business here, in the name of Jesus, business is spiritual, the grace that will cause your business to command strange results. May that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. If there is anyone here in any kind of trouble that needs the hand of God, that means if God does not step in for you, you know you are in trouble. I stand by the gift of prophecy and I decree and declare over your life, come out of that trouble now. Whether it's a financial trouble, whether it's whatever, come out of it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every attack on your destiny, I decree and declare from tonight, by the assignment of angels, we ward off that attack in Jesus' name. Whoever has been destined by God to help you rise, and either because of witchcraft or insensitivity in the spirit, he has not been able to locate you. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I call them by the spirit and I command that they locate you. <laughs> Believe in every prayer that we're praying. We're entering the ember months and many people associate this month with all kinds of demonic activity, minus you. <laughs> I say it again, minus you. Everyone who is part of this prophetic family and connected to this family, I declare the mystery of exemption over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That when men say there is a casting down, I welcome you into the greatest months that you have to face for this year. I decree and I declare over your life we're rounding up there are some of you nothing ever works in your life it's not like you are lazy it just doesn't work except it fails you to the point that even when you see success you are afraid of it because you know it will not last I declare not only will you be successful I command your results to last I say it again by the Spirit I command your results to last. I forbid you from this experience of up today and down tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. Any door that was once open and is now closed, I reopen it in Jesus' name. I hope you believe everything I'm saying. Please believe it with all your heart. 
I pray for every student here. I don't know what challenge you may be having. Or I don't know what you are trusting God for. In the name of Jesus, I pray particularly for students that are supposed to have graduated and one thing or the other is keeping them. I don't care what needs to be done. Let it be done to move you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say it again. Let it be done to move you. There are some of our young ones that just wrote post UME. In the name of Jesus, there are some of you who the results you have seen now, from that result you will not get anything serious. I change that result now. I change that result now. I change that result now. Believe it, you are too young to walk in unbelief. I change that result now. Anyone assigned here program that you must die or that your loved ones as we enter this ember whether by accident as you are moving listen no oh, i know our time is gone but i'm praying a very important prayer believers are careless and that's why sometimes we allow the devil to take advantage of us i declare whether by air or by land whether on bike kekena pep if it will crash you will never enter it i say it again if that fake cool is doomed for accident then i take you out of it but in the name of jesus if you enter it then it must not crash i pray for your finances again that in the name of jesus the worship team sang here and said ebenezer there is a god that can help men i pray for you directly finance that's the prayer i'm praying for you now i know you love god already i'm not doubting your passion for god but the resources that it will take especially for you my dear brothers it takes a lot for a young man to be established and it's not a blessing if you are just going old and old and old and you have to beg for tea and bread every day in the name of jesus the grace that helps men that can take a man from nowhere and establish him because you have believed the lord i command your establishment now He said, keep us, lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. I pray for you. Any orchestration of evil, a trap of Satan, so that you will enter and it will destroy your life. Quarter to getting into that trap. I declare in the name of Jesus, may the Lord rescue you out of it. Two or three more prayers and we're done. Any friend in your life, any useless association in your life that is not profiting you spiritually, destiny-wise, financially, I caught it from the realm of the spirit this night. I ate it out of your life in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, there is a saying, show me your friends and I will show you your destiny. Some of us love God, but the demon in our life is the spirit that keeps bringing the worst of every kind of friend. You are born again, but the people that come to like you, to want to marry you, are people who don't love God. Or you are a nice, well-meaning brother, but your friend is an armed robber. Your friend is a 419er. Your friend, what? Any kind of wrong relationship, whether you are aware or not, in the name of Jesus, I'm speaking to you. Let there be a separation right now. And I pray for you. If there is any deceiver in your life, may my God expose them in this season. I know you don't like the prayer, but let me pray for you. 
if there is any deceiver in your life i say it again may the god of heaven expose them in this name. whatever has tampered with your love for god there is something called first love first love is fire fire for god fire for the house of god that they have to advise and encourage you now and say let us go he said i was glad not i was angry not i was dragging let me tell you if the passion for the house of god is dying in your life it's not a sign of spiritual growth it's a sign of an attack even if you think it's happening because you are a man of god that church they are not sharing anything that spirit is the spirit of the antichrist i declare fresh passion for the things of god fresh passion for the house of god you used to wake up in the morning and the first thing you think about is your bible but now you wake up the first thing is your phone the first thing is email the first thing is uh, what they call all those things social media all those things you are doing and before you know it you spend one hour there you say let me just do it for five minutes you wake up by three o'clock and you say i will study my bible but quickly you watch nigerian film all kinds of things in the name of jesus those things are not bad don't get me wrong but i don't care whatever it is if it is as taking the position of god i declare let it return back to his rightful position let me rebuke the spirit of laziness before we share the grace because let me tell you i have seen people as a man of god and as a leader i have seen people who will never become anything listen nigerians and especially we around here let's trust god for grace to be serious when a young man is snoring your way you are sleeping you watch movie till 1 a.m and then you sleep till 11 a.m you are signing poverty with your destiny both god and satan agree that laziness leads to suffering are we together there are many of us here I, I don't hate you you know i love you with all my heart but your deliverance needs to be laziness 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 i'm not as concerned about our sisters but this our brothers you are the ones i'm talking to Sister, that doesn't mean that sisters should be lazy because some of you god is even speaking to you through this reduce those movies reduce all those facebook thing and all of that and sit down gentlemen receive grace grace to stay awake when others are sleeping believers are lazy people and we just imagine that just because we have the anointing things will happen just like that if you are a man here and you are a married man please hear me and you know you are not catering for your family i love you but i'm telling you the truth by the word of god you are not being responsible no matter what the excuse is receive grace tonight to sit down and find out what do i need to do to feed my family let no man believer here born of god you return back home and there's no food and they are asking you and you are acting as if daddy have not paid school fees say what will i do is he responsible is he responsible before you have a child think and plan what are we going to do with this child that is coming not just that you give birth and then you start inconveniencing people in the name of jesus i declare the discipline to be diligent and the discipline to be responsible i release it upon you now Hello. scriptures exalt us from the book of Proverbs. every entitlement nice. mentality that nice. makes you believe someone in somewhere should walk and world. just come and give you free Let success i cancel that wrong mentality now in the midst of you. As you have listened to this message, we Hallelujah. That you are going we to speak you peace the over Zaria. If you are we speak to peace words over words. Kaduna State. That you keep this words and we speak in peace over this nation. That no we decree and declare that whether it's in the political or the economic world. sphere, and as you we have declare that Christ must be glorified in this season. Be an evangelist. In the name of Jesus Christ. And, and for all of you who are doing one thing or the other, whether job, whether ministry, whatever it is, I declare is multiplication of results. In the name of Jesus Christ. For us. Thank you.
before we take the altar call i want to encourage you please listen please listen everyone next week friday next week we're going to have koinonia on sunday is 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 our som graduation we'll announce that shortly but on friday please listen we're all waiting upon the lord we're fasting okay there's no koinonia so we're going to trust god please when we say wait upon the lord minimum minimum at least minimum four o'clock if you fast and end by 12 except you are a child or except you are on a serious medical this thing if if you are not on a medical program and you fast and end by 12 i think you are lazy to whom much is given much is required six hours alone is too small you have to be serious and if you fast and all you do is sleep god too will have to forgive you because you didn't maximize is this not the fast i have commanded there is a fast that is hunger starvation but there is a genuine fast listen to messages so friday please uh, media make sure you announce it friday we are fasting and we are fasting the goal listen carefully three things number one our spiritual health are we together number two we are interceding for this ministry we are speaking the next level we are declaring we are praying over this ministry are we together now and then the third you can add whatever prayer point but particularly our spiritual lives and then you are praying for the ministry and you know prayer band take note of this and all other departments take note every department should allocate some time at least that you can pray evidence of your coming here will show in the mighty name of jesus christ every challenge you came here with we declare that it becomes a testimony in the name of jesus we bless you with fresh hunger for god fresh hunger for the things of the spirit may you go back and experience the honor of god upon your life in unprecedented dimensions if you have been running go and begin to fly in the name of jesus you will move at the pace of the spirit there's no limitation upon your life we bless you we release upon you the blessings of this house let everything you do and touch prosper in the name of jesus christ thank you so much now we just request you to do just one thing before you come back to your seat um there are people who will welcome you more warmly will have your details and they'll communicate just a few messages to you and you'll be back to your seat thank you very much i just wanted to follow the lady waving her hands they'll have your details very briefly and then you'll be back to your seat can you celebrate them koinonia thank you so so much